Hey everyone, it's Craig. Before we get into the show, I'd like to thank everyone for listening, especially our Patreon supporters. For those of you who haven't checked out our Patreon offerings, please go to patreon.com slash Katya and Craig. And there you'll see that we have bonus episodes of many kinds, including regular bonus episodes and then the listener questions episodes. And now a new thing that we have called Katya and Craig's Movie Club. Yes, Katya and Craig's Movie Club. Anyway, thanks for listening and enjoy the show. A Russian ballerina stopping on a bureaucrat. A perky suburban housewife who just got into scats. Give it a beep, bop, 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 bow, bop, bop, bop. It's whimsically volatile. Have you ever shit yourself? Um, I I have never shit myself. But I have come very close. You have. You I danced have. on the edge. I've danced on the edge <laughs> yeah. of that cliff. Yes. <laughs> yes. Teetered over, looked at the Teetered risk. Over. No, there was one time um, my husband and I were returning from Jamaica. And for some reason, it must have been the conch. <laughs> it's always the conch. The conch, conch. got me constipated. <laughs> I'm constipated, I'm darling. I'm constipated. <laughs> so everyone's like, oh, you know, just drink this senna tea okay okay and you know it doesn't work right away so i'm just you know two days before we're about to leave jamaica back to new york mm. and i'm just pounding the senna tea so make it on the flight back home in the car driving back to brooklyn and i'm just like <sighs> <sighs> things are gurgling things are yes things are bubbling <laughs> and how how long can you can you keep that the situation clench? yeah how taught how taught i mean i when i was younger <laughs> i mean i would say there'd probably be a good 20 minute window yeah okay now when nature calls it fucking haulers it's, yeah 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 and do you it's have choking whereas, me. in younger days the window was painted shut <laughs> yeah. yes yes, yes. <laughs> do you and do you have trepidation about letting loose in a public bathroom um no because that's the last thing that's on your mind. You just want you just get it out. You just want to get it out. You just need to get the demon out. Do you, <laughs> yeah. you have to cast that demon no, out through and it's any true, means and necessary. I, I, we, we, I was like, I'm. You're gonna just have to pull over because I'm yeah. just not gonna make it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's either in here or out there. Yeah. So yeah. make the decision. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I've shit like blown diarrhea in Nate. Like, I'm trying to think. I don't think I'm <laughs> really in a really great, great theme yeah, the yeah, last sorry. couple episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are, um, when was the last time you puked? <laughs> Um, I'm glad we're elevating the discussion. Yeah. The last time I puked was, I can give you the exact date. It was March 24th because. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. I was, I was in Desert Hot Springs for a wedding uh -huh. okay. and had, you know, some celebratory champagne the night before, but nothing crazy. Sure. Uh -huh. Just the standard amount. So we were up late and I had to mm. get up early the next day. So we're staying in this house and my cousin says, oh, there's some, you know, vitamin packs I left on your bed in your room. You know, just take them before you go to bed and mm. you, you know, won't be hung over. It was from some Dr. Corey or something. Oh, Dr. Corey. Yeah. They were little cool. singlets full of vitamins. <laughs> I didn't read what was in them. I just took them. Yeah. yeah. And then woke up at seven o'clock in the morning the next morning, just vomiting profusely. Oh, oh no. Like six or seven times because I'm very sensitive to B vitamins. Oh, And right. it was just loaded with B vitamins because mm -hmm. apparently that's supposedly the hand over cure oh right. is that you know you deplete a lot of vitamins but the main thing being b sure okay and it just was not pretty yeah oh, i guess the, the, is that where the b12 shot you know the no but the b12, b12 shot is, is different i've had that and okay. the b12 shot has kind of the opposite effect is if you take it orally the shot kind of just like goes in and it just kind of you just kind of have this like little wave of heat that comes over you mm -hmm. for a minute oh, really? and then it's really calming okay yeah oh. almost instant relief yeah whereas this stuff stirs your stomach up yeah i yep. once took a multivitamin on an empty stomach and had a cup of coffee and it was oh. very unpleasant oh. wow minutes. yeah a woman's once a day multi yes you know? a yeah. women's yeah. once a day <laughs> You know, you know too much. Was it a prenatal? Was it a prenatal? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> possibly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of I, folic. <laughs> you got to eat your beets. Yeah, folic acid. Mm -hmm. Who don't like their yeah. beets, right? Mm -hmm. I I tried a beet for the first time like three days ago. Really? Yeah, the first time. What was it in? Wait, a beet? A beet. Like a, like a a, a b e e t. Beet. Really? Yeah, red beet. A red beet. A, you know, but then you know the red beets they do make you look like you have bloody. Oh right. Poo. Yeah. But oh. if you eat too much of them that's right yeah if you're just mm -hmm. on a steady diet of that you're gonna have some stool issues yes. we want to circle back to our some bloody shit yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah 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 
for listeners at home who are craving some bloody, bloody looking bl- shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. If you ever want to make your bathroom into a haunted house. <laughs> yes. Just, we have tips and tricks for you. Yes, all we these do. Episodes. Many tri- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen a ghost? I have. Okay. Tell. Spill the okay. beans, bitch. I <laughs> I have a well I have a very interesting story about this. So well, we don't have time for that. No, yeah, we, no. It's kind of a dull anecdote, maybe. But I mean, uh, I kind of story. felt like I I have really felt like my whole life I have been in touch or really? at least followed by or you know really? by the paranormal. Yes. Okay. okay. It could have to do with the fact that my parents were big horror movie buffs, so mm-hmm. like I saw Exorcist when I was seven years old. Okay. okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and traumatized mm-hmm. since then. Yeah. But, sure. So when we moved into when when we moved into our rental house in mm-hmm. Burbank after we lived in uh, in Brooklyn, there was one evening where the dog out of nowhere just started growling in the middle of the night, and I woke up, and she was perched on the end of the bed, staring out the door, mm-hmm. and just growling, and I was kind of groggy, and then I kind of opened my eyes a little bit more and looked over, and there was just this figure standing there staring over the bed Mm -hmm. great comfortable very comfortable and i just i just chalked it up to you know i must have been still half asleep or you know you're like you're in that period where you're just you're not quite awake yet am i still you know am i dreaming i don't know so then fast forward to not even six months later we we bought this the house that we're in now in mount washington Mm -hmm. we closed on the house and same thing Oh, wow. Within a first couple of nights. And when we first moved in, we were only there for about a week and a half mm-hmm. before we renovated the house. So we were just kind of squatting in our own house, sleeping <laughs> sure. on a mattress on the floor. Same thing. Dog does the same thing. Growling. Mm-hmm. And then the neighbors tell us, oh, yes, the man that owned the house died in the house. <laughs> oh, great. And after he passed away, his boyfriend that was still living there ran out of the front door naked one day. And said that he had seen the ghost and was like some headless ghost. Oh, man. Headless. A headless ghost. And so we were doing renovations. And one night, you know, my husband's like, can you stop on your way to dinner and just check on the house and make sure that they did the work that they said they were going to do today? And we had the electricity shut off because Mm -hmm. they were doing electrical. I mean, the whole house was being gutted. So I stopped there and I opened the door and I'm trying to find my phone flashlight because it's pitch black. Right. Yeah. And I see something out of the corner of my eye and we had paper on the stairs, you know, the painter's paper. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I see something out of the corner of my eye brush past me. And then I hear this. No oh, way. Up the oh stairs. God. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. And I stopped dead in my tracks and turned around and I was like, I am getting the fuck <laughs> out of here. And I call my husband and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but something just ran up the stairs and I'm not going to get raped tonight. <laughs> and he not was just tonight. like, not tonight, not tonight. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what it is, but it's I saw something yeah. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, but did they put the tile in the floor? I was like, I was like, I'm there did you hear what i just said oh my so ask then the thing because ask the it thing. went upstairs yeah, it okay. might know yeah, yeah. so then so then a week later the guy who is our contractor ricardo he oh, says ricardo ricardo oh yeah, good, oh, yeah. You're ricardo, ricardo del mondo ricardo del mondo yeah, yeah. of the world <laughs> um del mundo ricardo del mundo uh, yes. he's he a world with contractor. armando Legondo. yes yes yeah. <laughs> they travel together remember they the do. show they did with dusty tornado yeah <laughs> so ricardo says some of my workers, they saw the phantasma. Shut. And I was like, uh, what? You're and like the film? The film? You the saw film, Ricardo? Fan, yeah. The, 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 the film pants, yeah. yeah. And he said, well, what did they see? He was telling this to, to my husband. Yeah. What did they see? They saw the ghost and he didn't have a head. No. Oh shut. My God. I am not kidding you. Yeah. So I'm thinking back in that week period that when the dog was barking at something we were we were recording a song this mm-hmm. is when we had put out um this was when we were recording the the first tiny hearts project okay yeah and we were sitting in the room which is now my studio and all we had in the room was a couple cushions to sit on mm-hmm. a computer some speakers and a microphone mm-hmm. and we were just kind of tracking some ideas because my my partner in the band he had had a dream the night before about a headless horseman and he said I, I want to write this song called Monster 
and I, it was based on this dream. And he and so we just started jotting all these ideas and Tim gets the mic out and he's kind of just like laying down a, a rough melody idea. Mm -hmm. And then when he's done recording, he's not singing into the mic anymore. And the mic is just in the middle of the room. And they're all of a sudden for at least 20 minutes, there's all this feedback and it sounds like voices that are coming oh, through the mic. Oh my God. And we left it in the song. Oh, that's Ooh. so cool. Will you send That's me which one that is? Yeah, I will. Okay, because yeah. we want It's to, not we'll been released it yet. It's going to be on the album when we actually finish it. Well, this is exciting. This, so it'll be yeah. a little preview. It's it'll a be a little preview. Let's... It was on, We did premiere it on BBC Radio 1. Oh, that's pretty good. But we didn't release it yet. We right. decided, well, that's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty cool move. But so so then... Yeah. So that 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 was my experience with, with, the, with the Fantasma <laughs> moving into this <laughs> house. But so then... Our uncle was like, you know, you know, you just have to tell them. You just have to. You, you can't be emotional. Yeah. You have to just go and just approach them, them wherever they are. Yeah. Just stand in your house and just say, "You are not welcome. Go towards the light." But say it in a very stern way. Don't say it in a scared way. Don't say it in an angry way. Mm -hmm. Or timid. Or timid. Or any. Yeah. Just you are not welcome. Go towards the light. And so we did that. And then when we moved back in after the the renovations, I just didn't feel that presence anymore. Wow! Mm. So but there prior, was a distinct. There was. Difference. I felt it prior yeah. to that, and I saw it in sure. that one flash, yeah. and I felt it. But since then, we're okay. That's a so again more tips for the listeners. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, and you can learn from my mistake. Don't try to fuck it. No, <laughs> no. Don't try to fuck it. No. We have a friend who was apparently fucked by a ghost. We'll get yeah, into that when well, he's on the show. I think. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think I've heard about this. I think yeah. You might have. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, some <laughs> fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what in the butt? Or is it a is it a man or a woman? Uh, oh, I won't specify. I, I think yeah. I already said he, but oh, uh, you said he. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was jerked off by a ghost. Well, uh, we'll let him tell. Okay, we'll let him right. tell you. All right, because I'm now I'm very intrigued. a little teaser. Okay. Yeah, I I I saw, the, I saw an apparition. You and did, then, and then I later on I I went down to the scene of the 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 the, the scene of the scene completely the naked. The scene of the penetration. The scene. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I took up. So it was in the basement. There's a laundry room, and then a boiler. There's a laundry room and a closet, and a little boiler setup okay. in the basement. I saw it in the basement with my mother, and while well, we were on a deck, uh -huh. on, a, on an addition. I saw it clearly. She saw a reflection of something. <gasps> and then later, later, I went back down there um, and took off all my clothes and like started to jerk off. And and I just wanted to like, I wanted to get sexy with the ghost. You so wanted that, to connect. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to connect. You wanted a sexy connection. Sexy I wanted, I wanted, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sexy connection. Sexy, sexy connection. Another one for yeah. our Tallow yeah. album. Yeah. 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 And there was no connection. It was a missed connection. It was a very missed connection. And then, uh, so it was a boring fuck. It was a. It was. A, it was a dead leg. <laughs> it was, it was a dead, dead leg. leg. Yeah, it was a dead leg. leg. <laughs> it was a dead leg. And then I. You were uh, doing all the work. I, I was doing all the work, and mm. I. And oh, it's to, a lazy lover. To be honest, though, I couldn't really get hard. <laughs> oh. I couldn't really get hard. It, chemistry I, I, wasn't the there. The chemistry was not there. there. And then I. No was, foreplay. <laughs> no. And then I was scared. No caressing. I, no I, kissing. I, yeah, I was scared out of the room. I felt a very. I felt a, a sense of get the fuck out of here, bitch. Oh, so he had daddy I think issues. It was a she. She? Oh, really? Uh, I do. I, well, that's I why you it couldn't get it up, I'm maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's know. probably why. I'm not gay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> You're married? Yes. How long you been married for? Five years last week. Wow, happy anniversary. Happy Thank anniversary. You. Thank you. What's the secret? Um, getting married. Getting married. What's yeah. the secret to having an anniversary? You know, that would be, the yeah, secret to anniversary yeah, yeah. is just married. being yeah. patient, waiting for one more year to pass by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the cards will be worth no, it. You the know, cards. I think, I think, I think the secret is, well, you know, it's it's a combination of many things. Uh, but I think, I think the main thing is that you actually have to like the person. Wait, what? You actually have to <laughs> like the person. I don't you know what I that. mean? You have to no, but but there has to yeah, be a no, friendship uh, there. Yeah, there has to be yeah. a friendship there where you feel open to be able to be yourself and say what's on your mind mm -hmm. and know that that's okay. Right. Yeah. And not be self conscious. And not be self conscious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not be self absorbed. And what yeah. about having your own time too? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's so important. Mm -hmm. 
Because you do work together as well. We do work together. Not as much anymore, but we still work together. Yeah. You know, we both we both work at home. We both, but we have separate studios. Sure. But yeah, I mean, we 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 always said we went through this intense period of planning the wedding, renovating a house, and <laughs> working on an album together all within the same year and didn't kill each other. Well, and we don't fight at IKEA. That's so amazing. I think that that's, that's really. Yeah. That's I think incredible. that's really. Yeah, that's incredible. When somebody like I had a friend text me the other day, she's so like, "Sorry, I couldn't come to Vanderpump Day, Dog Day. We got in a fight at Whole Foods." I was like, "Red flag." <laughs> yeah, that is. I think it was in, they got in a fight in the parking lot at Whole Foods. Ooh, they didn't even get into the <gasps> store. They didn't even get into the store. Oof, not even at the juice bar. No, fighting is so funny. Yeah, when you're far enough away from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <when> you're <laughs> <laughs> I avoid fights at all costs. Just you know, just in a relationship or just Every, in general. In general, I just I just dip. Yeah, I'm just, just I out. Know. I don't know. Well, I can't. I can't I you don't like don't. confrontation. No, no, no. But don't you think sometimes no. that leads to other problems, like uh, simmering resentments and things? Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Also leads to blow ups. Yeah, and oh, crack ups. Yeah. Crack ups and explosions mm -hmm. and implosions. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know anything about that. No, no these are just theoretical. The theoretical. They're, also, yeah. they're also great movie titles. They are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are exactly. Yeah. We should see crack up. You've seen blow up. Yeah, actually, yes. you know what though? I really know Blow Out, which the De Palma yes. semi remake. Yes. Yeah, yes. John Travolta is the oh, sound yeah. man. Yeah, uh, and Nancy Allen. Yes, and I know that John one. Lithgow. What about Shampoo? Love Shampoo. Love Didi. Shampoo. How great yeah. is that? That's what so is your good. favorite movie? My favorite movie. If you had to pick one right now. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Ah, uh, Body Double. Ah, fantastic! Did you see the box set over there? No. Okay, I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna pause for. I, I, keep talking. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. What's your favorite part about that movie? Oh, I think it's honestly, the cinematography is so amazing. I've never seen it. Oh God, the cinematography is incredible. <gasps> yes, yes. This is a limited edition French box set. Oh my God, it's amazing. The sad part of it is there's this massive, beautiful book in there. Yeah. And it's all in French. <gasps> oh, I speak French. You, you do? Oh my God, you do? I do. Oh my God. So this, Je is, this is fabulous because Jason and I were talking about hiring an, an intern to who spoke French Shut just up. to read just that. To, <laughs> that sounds like a late night conversation. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Whoa. It does have the ring of a late night. Right. You know what would be a great idea? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. You, you know, guys... but you know, you you know what you could do also? What? Is you just get the Google Translate app. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and yeah, if you then... open the camera on the Google Translate and you point it at something, it translates it for you. I no, didn't know sir. that. Yeah. Oh, this... It's not like, it's not great. It's not like. It gives you it's the not, gist, though. It gives you the gist of yeah. it. Yeah. That's all I need. Yeah. All I need is the well, gist. Let's experiment after. We'll let's see. do that. Yeah. I have a thing for movies about voyeurs. Yeah. Did you see Sliver? Yeah, yeah. I did see Sliver. Yes. I haven't seen that in forever. I haven't seen it in a really long time. Same here, yeah. But yes, I there's there's I whacked off to Billy Baldwin's butt in that one. I mean, that's yeah, it's a good butt. But yeah. I also have a thing I also have a thing for like eight, late 80s, 80s to late 80s erotic thrillers. Absolutely. It's a dead genre. Somebody needs to bring it back. They do. I think yeah. Justin Kelly might be the Yeah. the one to do yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, well, cuz we talked about King Cobra. Yeah, oh, good, yeah, we need a good erotic thriller. Yeah, I did the music supervision for that's that right. Film. You did, and you did. Uh, yeah, I might. I have a the the one song that's like the in the the pinnacle part of the movie when he gets busted, and the cops come and invade his apartment. That's my song. Let's get Golden into your, let's get into your music yeah, come uh, on. career yeah. a little bit. Spill more. the oh. beans, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to get into? Well, <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> everything, darling. Everything. Uh, Let's start everything. in the middle and work sideways. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's always a good way. Isn't to that go. good? Well, you yeah. toured with Kesha. Yes, I did tour. I, I was a background singer for, mm. for Kesha during the TikTok days. Yes. Ah, the yes. TikTok the TikTok days. days. Good yes. old TikTok. Good old and TikTok. And how was that? It was fun. Was it vile and rotten? No, actually, it was a lot mellower than you would expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as, as far as just the, the preparation and the rehearsals, I mean, the shows were always super fun and crazy yeah. and wild, but yeah. you know, but the process was, was really professional and great. Mm -hmm. A lot of glitter. Lot I think glitter. when we moved out of our apartment in New York, yeah. I think, you know, there was still, as I was packing, there was just still glitter everywhere. Glitter is the fucking worst. It really is the I fucking worst. It. it really is the worst. We played the today show mm -hmm. and we were all getting ready in the green room and you know there's just like a barrage of 
background dancers and and hairstylists. Yeah. And then the other special guest, Dina Lohan. And <laughs> oh my she, God. No way. Yes. It was like Dina Lohan and just like all these background dancers and who Ryan Heffington did the uh, choreography. Oh, cool. So they're just like, okay, it's time to glitter. Because that was the thing. When we would get ready, it's just like, okay, it's time to glitter. Yeah. So everybody would just have to line up and they'd spray all the shit on you. And just, it would just be glitter bombs. Sure. And Dina's just like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my what is goodness. this? Yeah. What's happening? Oh my goodness! Yeah, Damn. that's a very accurate impression of her, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goodness. Oh, oh goodness. goodness! What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nonsense happening. Yeah. Shenanigans. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was the highlight of my career. <laughs> well, I wanted Dina to start Lohan. there and then <laughs> and then work about and then work. work sideways, like we said. Yeah. But before that, what were you doing? Before that, before that, I was um, mainly just singing for commercials, mm-hmm, which yeah. I think is one of the coolest things ever. Yeah. By the that's way, that's amazing. What yeah. kind of what commercial? What, what commercials? Well, I I voiced nine Friskies commercials. Shut the fuck which, up! But the one was is a pretty iconic commercial. Now it's going to go down in history as a very iconic, the most iconic cat food commercial of all time. Of yeah. course, Friskies yeah. Adventureland. Adventureland. Uh, yes. So yeah, it was it was a really big deal when it came out. It was like out of the week. Um, and there were all there was just like blogs that picked it up because mm-hmm. it was it was right before it was right before Alice in Wonderland the movie the the new movie came out okay. so it was like in 2010 or 11. Is that with Ginny Dopp? That Alice in Wonderland. The, was, that was I wouldn't Dopp know. Dopp the, the, yeah, I don't Johnny know. Depp. Missing oh, that. oh, sorry. I thought, yeah, I forgot, yes. I forgot Ginny, about her name. Ginny Dopp. Ginny Dopp. Ginny Dopp. That's better, yes. Yeah. Ginny yeah. Dopp. So, um, he is pretty ginny up, I think, most of the but time. Everyone was freaking out online because they're like what is this cat food commercial have you seen this cat food commercial that looks like the cats on an acid trip (laughs) because it looks like this very alice in wonderland animation yeah and the cat is just like going on this whole adventure and i'm singing the theme song okay can you sing some or you were you not able to Oh, is it copyright think... infringement? No, 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 mm. no. Because be good... no, because my husband wrote it. That'd be will a good way please, out, though. You... If you were like, I, I would, but you know, please. copyright infringement. Let me see if I can. Come on, you have to sing some. What if one little pop could open a world of wonder? So sensory, so satisfying. The discovery never seems to stop. A journey to delicious and beyond. A journey How to fabulous. delicious. Yeah. And, and that doesn't stop there, no. though. It goes Exciting beyond. your cat <gasps> day and night with endless enchantment. It's the magic Friskies makes happen every day and every way. Friskies feed the senses. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bravo! Wow. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Yes, yes, darling. Oh, can you believe that? It's amazing delivery. Yeah. I, I have a cat food commercial that I'm workshopping around. What? Tell, I want to hear it. Friskies, it's food for your pissy fucking shit cunt cat. <laughs> I love that. Is that catchy, way more, right? Is that good? Uh, well, that I always good? wanted to change it. I was like, Friskies, taste my motherfucking magic, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was, um, speaking of Friskies, this is a non sequitur, but... Um, well, you I'm, know, our listeners are <laughs> yeah, mildly familiar with the non sequitur. <laughs> there is one of my... Um, uh, there's a Missy Elliott song called The Meltdown, mm-hmm. where she talks about juices running down her kitty litter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I thought that was very. Didn't that poignant. happen to Christina Aguilera at <laughs> somebody's funeral once? Or... <laughs> <laughs> or was that just sweat and self tanner? I don't remember uh, actually how either, that went either down. Either or both. Yeah, either or both. <laughs> um, Check all the boxes. For what, that. what else? What else? What else? What, any more? Any more? Well, tender so treats? tiny hearts. No, no, no. Oh, the, you want uh, more commercial. jingles? Want more jingles. Oh, well, I want more jingles too. I want more jingles. You know, because the best part of the Barry Manilow live record songs. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, well, people still made money writing music back yeah, then too. True. Not just for commercials, but just in general. <laughs> in general, in general yeah, there yeah. was still you, money involved. You get by with yeah. Uh, yeah. Norman Greenbaum, "The Spirit in the Sky," lived his whole life off that. Oh, one Oh, I mean, song. yeah, because in in the in the last eight ten years that I've had all these commercials running, I mean, yeah, you can you can easily live a very comfortable life off yeah. of it. That's incredible. It is incredible. Mm. 
Dolly. It's a glorious thing. It's well, a- like that's yeah, the whole Dolly Parton thing with the Whitney Houston thing. Oh my oh, God, that's yeah. right. Jesus I mean, H. Christ. And you know, there was going to be another famous cover of that that never happened because she wouldn't sign over half of the publishing to uh, Colonel Tom Parker. Elvis Presley wanted to do it. But the deal that they had was if Elvis covered your song, you had to surrender 50% of the publishing. And she was like, Snake. Yeah, exactly. The snake is. Colonel Tom Parker used to work Elvis into the ground. Like he had Elvis doing two shows a day, sometimes three, when he, he could have had him doing one. And Elvis never toured. Uh, around the world really because colonel tom parker had some kind of like shady army history or something or there was something really? like he had some kind of um crime record he couldn't travel the with them fuck yeah colonel tom parker had elvis completely wrapped around his finger it's bizarre damn, damn. Yeah. i never knew that snakes there's a snakes. lot of bizarre stuff in the elvis presley story not least of which is the number of drugs in his system when he kicked it but yeah, you don't say. Yeah, but I mean, he had a lot. You'd be really, you'd be shocked. Really? Did he have yeah. friskies in there too? He had friskies, friskies. and yeah. uh, what's the every other rhinestone one? was actually just a quaalude. <laughs> 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 Stephen Tyler. See, I saw this interview with Stephen Tyler once. They showed him the cover of Get Your Wings, and he goes, "See that scarf there? That's full of second all." So he had a special oh scarf God. that had like a like a, a sewn in section that was just like little compartments for second all. Wow. That's really smart. It is. Yeah, I used to have. Um, I used to put crystal meth into little eyeshadow palettes. <gasps> wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So any um any of the any of this is uh, for the new uh the new crop of drag race girls. If you need to travel, if you drugs. need to travel, <laughs> yeah. So the thing about um I got a lot. Of, you know I don't ever tell people to travel with drugs, obviously, because right. I had one t- uh, when I was coming from Australia. Mm-hmm. I was high on meth, and um and I had to go to Singapore from Australia. Yeah, oh. and. Uh, well, it's a if, long flight. Well, but <laughs> you need it, a little something. It is I mean. a long flight, but my <laughs> and um and I noticed that on the little card they said um there's a death penalty <gasps> for bringing drugs into Singapore. Wow! But there's not for bringing eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> or is there? Stern talking to. Yeah, or yeah, is yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. So, so if, if any of the new girls are traveling with a little bit of booger sugar, yeah. Yeah. or a little bit of whatever, and you're going to doing a little show, a little, a little, w- a little wiggle show yeah. in Singapore, you might want to just throw all that out in the toilet before you leave for the airport. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah chances because, are you might be able to score something in Singapore, or you know, or just. Uh, push it on through. Have a nice little cocktail. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice little yeah. cocktail. Lean on the booze. Lean yeah. on the booze. Yeah. But it was. It's so. It's so easy to travel with small amounts of drugs. Mm. It really is. Especially if you got a giant um, makeup. You know the makeup kits. Yeah. There's so much stuff in there. Right. What's the makeup kit of choice these days? Oh, there's not. It's there's just not. a whole it's bunch just... of stuff. Like if they ever opened my makeup kit. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> good yeah. luck. Good luck. Yeah. Happy hunting. Happy I hunting. Have... There's all. There's all like you know you get a little. Uh, a uh, compartment with a you know you got the you open the compact and there's a secret mirror, mirror. and a, there's all this there's stuff. secret sponge. mirror yeah the, it's <laughs> the secret mirror you can just soak a sponge in liquid acid and uh, then um, that's true yeah it's great people have also like dissolved things and, oh yeah yeah these are some great domestic tips for the listeners exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have the bloody stool with the beads. bloody stool yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah hide, yeah. Hi, yeah hide yeah. the things in the makeup kit yeah. Yeah. yeah and just watch out if you're going to singapore because you're gonna die bitch i yeah. may have heard a story about someone having some blue ketamine because they had put food coloring in it and put it in like a mouthwash bottle Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And then they had a fun little party novelty. And then they drank it and got a blue waffle. <laughs> a blue. I still haven't looked those up. I, 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 I would oh, advise God. against it. Yeah. Unless, you know. I actually literally just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Because yeah. you know what it is. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, yeah. dear Lord. Yeah, it's I've seen really, it. It's gnarly. It's gnarly. But it's, I love the human body stuff. I'm fascinated by it a yeah. little bit. There's just something about like, you know, there's something about Googling <laughs> images of very vile things will you that, ever get into cyst popping i i mean i've seen videos of it yeah, not okay. necessarily cysts but you know dr of, pimple just popper the dr Pim- yeah i've seen those before now are those part of the asmr <laughs> 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 I'm, wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering i'm wondering if that could maybe <laughs> that be could, a crossover, crossover. <laughs> and have you seen the pickle one the pickle asmr oh, love the pickle no lady. what's the pickle the one pickle lady. maximum I'm, crunch I'm, oh uh, i don't know about maximum this maximum crunch I've seen the the new soap cutting one. Soap cutting. I don't soap know about cutting. that. Yeah, or it's soap cutting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for someone to do a suicide ASMR where they gently encourage people to kill themselves. Is that a little d- too dark? That's a little dark. It's yeah. A little dark. Is it too dark? It's, I don't know. I don't That's, know. Uh, I mean, a two is not really what I would you could say. Be like, you know. You know. I've been thinking, and you know, maybe you should just end it all. 
if you really think about it, life's not worth living. I don't know. It could take off. Why? Put Especially on World Goth all. Day. It's Why World Goth Day. Oh, it is. Happy yeah. World Goth Day. Yes. Oh, happy World Goth Day. Have you yeah. ever considered the fact that you're a terrible human being? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just let go of the pain? Let go. <laughs> Walk into the ocean. It's warm and welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put some head scratching in there with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then yeah. a maximum scratch, crunch scratch, pickle. Scratch, maximum yeah, crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the maximum crunch you pickle. It's worthless. It's yeah, yeah. all worthless. It's yeah. all yeah. time. You're a worthless it's human being. It's, it's, it's not just you. It's everything. It's everything. It's all going to hell. You're going to hell. The devil's going to get you. But you know, we need a stereo mic for that. Oh yeah. So we're just doing it. Sort of an approximation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want the sound? It's a demo, really. If that. That's what it is. Yeah, thank you. Demo real for ASMR YouTube page. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But there, the maximum crunch, you got to get in that pickle lady. She knows what time it is. Really? I don't know how I'm going to respond to this because I do have misophonia. So this might be oh. not, this might go the you other have way. What now? Misophonia. What the fuck is that? It's it's a condition where certain sounds trigger like emotional and physical responses. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, well, it's mean, as but, but, yeah, it's a thing. But that I feel like I have that too. A lot of people do. But there's a difference between like, oh gosh, oh yeah, a nail on a chalkboard might make me cringe. Whereas like something will make you shit your pants, th- or it'll make me feel like I'm like I get like a moment of rage and I have to leave the room. Oh, interesting. Oh, inter- well, yeah. let's see where this goes. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Don't the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is good. She's got some echo on there too. I was so. gonna say, did she put a little? Did she little put add a little reverb on the? Yeah. End? yeah. Okay. It's so cavernous. It is. You know, it reminds me of Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> it's not entirely dissimilar to what is that? The, 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 several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave, grooving, grooving with, with a pick. pick. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Yeah, this is not a soothe for me. I'm gonna have no, to say, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's a hard it's, pass. It's, it's, a hard, it's <laughs> yeah. just, I mean, it's definitely interesting. I find yeah. it fascinating, yeah. but yeah. It, this isn't a soothe for me. Yeah. It's the same way as as like the cope, the soap cutting would be. Okay. Now, soap yeah. cutting, I don't know what that is. It's just, yeah, people they 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 either make or find. You know, it's it's mostly glycerin soaps. Yeah. And they get a really sharp knife, and they just like they slice it. Okay. And there's something about the sound and then just like the way it looks. It's very soothing. I see. Yeah. Do you okay. know that I, way before this whole YouTube thing, long before YouTube, I experienced this exact thing. Was it, auto, is it autonomic sensory meridian response? What is it called? ASMR. I forget what it stands for. Oh, I don't for. even know what it stands I, yeah, it's for. It's audio actually. sensory something, something. Yeah, that sounds right. Whatever yeah. he said. Whatever sounded, you yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just it's, giving it's, you like, like you Look know. it up because I, it's either. <laughs> Layman's it's, terms. It's, um, it, was, it was coined by someone rather recently. Mm-hmm. And anyways, I remember specifically, um, I would have male math teachers mm-hmm. going back to middle school who I, I would go up to the desk during class and, and uh, like if everybody was working on something, I'd go up for extra help. Yeah. And they would be in, explaining something in like a whispered monotone mm-hmm. and none of the information would be processing, but I would get these waves sure, of okay. sensation where I was being, it was a hypnot, exactly what this is supposed to do. Okay. And it was incredible. And I became like so, fa- and I was so confused by it because mm-hmm. I was, I was, I, my brain was kind of pressed, like, is this erotic? Right. I'm not attracted to these men right. at all. But I, but it was so pleasurable and so relaxing. It was just waves down my spine from the crown of my head all the way down mm-hmm. to like my tailbone. It was just like these like waves of hypnotic pleasure. Right. And it was just so soothing and lulling and amazing. And it was, um, yeah, and it happened all through high school too. I Always feel, with male math teachers. I feel like if my male math teacher would have been like that, I wouldn't have had to beg my principals to just let me out of geometry. <laughs> <laughs> you would have found a hook in there somewhere. I would have, yeah. 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 Otherwise, otherwise, you'd just find me sleeping. Yeah. How did? How were you in school? Did you like school? Um, not really. No. Mm-hmm. No, neither no, did I. Yeah. No, no. By the time I was a senior in high school, I was just like, yeah, I'm just not going to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to stop doing this. Yeah. And, I'd like to, uh, I'd really like to just stop doing this. I think I'm ready to move on from this. Yeah. So m- my, my parents and my, um, principal and vice principal and my art teacher all kind of got together and was like, look, 
she's not going to do this, this, and this. Yeah. yeah. But she's excelling in this, this, and this. Okay. So let's just give her a bunch of like art classes yeah. and some free art study hours. That's great. That's awesome. And that's what they let me do. And I, you know, I graduated, but yeah. I was, yeah, I was ready to get the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was, I like, I excelled so much in school until the last like half semester where I had applied to colleges and done all yeah. that stuff. And then I, and I remember in anatomy and physiology, we had to dissect an adult cat and I was just oh, like dear. cutting the thing up and I didn't remember anything about it. And I, my, I, I flunked and failed it. And I was just like, he was like, what happened? I was like, I don't like, I don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. I don't, this is all meaningless now. I just want to, I want to go. It's like, okay. Like, well. It's probably like similar to like, if you just have a job you hate and you get yeah. your two weeks notice out. and yeah. you're yeah. just you're like, not there fuck anymore. this. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? This bullshit. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a rush on that project. That's terrific. terrific. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Yeah. I'll take the F. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> when did you start singing in a semi-professional or live setting or anything like that or recording um professionally yeah it's like 2000 2008 mm-hmm. yeah i did have a band i had a band called skipping butts in middle school mm-hmm. and skipping butts yeah it was called skipping butts and i wrote a song about how our middle school was infested with asbestos because it was <laughs> a good little rhyme scheme in there <laughs> yeah too, infested, <laughs> infested with asbestos, asbestos. Uh, and it was something like asbestos asbestos look out for the asbestos and you know i it, it, i like it's driving yeah it's, yeah, it's it, yeah it's it was haunted. pounding yeah yeah <laughs> But so, you know, we, we were, I somehow tricked one of the teachers to let us perform it at some pep rally. <laughs> You're kidding. And I, and so we did it and she didn't know what it was on, what the song was about. Yeah. And so we performed it. And apparently one of the family members of the, uh, of a kid I went to school with was a journalist for the Milwaukee Journal. I, uh-huh. I grew up um, outside of Milwaukee in Wisconsin and they decided to open an investigative report about the asbestos in the middle school. So I got called into the office mm-hmm. and almost expelled and was told to never perform that song again. I don't talk about it. Wow. It stirred up too much. And then after I w- went off to high school, a couple of years after that, they uh, shut the school down because of the asbestos. <laughs> what I like is that you seemingly uncovered you, this whole I thing. Did. And yet they were very, yeah. very was. cross with you. They yeah. were oh very cross. They tried, to, they tried to censor me. And silence you. They tried to and silence me. And you shut me. the whole fucking thing <laughs> down. I shut them down. Yeah. Oh my God. You got your revenge. I did. That's amazing. Revenge, for some reason, reminds me of a delightful evening that we spent at uh, the New Beverly, which we've been talking about a lot on the show, mm-hmm. for the Dario Argento Oh, all-nighter. yeah. I didn't make it all night, but you guys, you guys did, right? How long I, I did was, you make it? I was there to the bloody end. I think I made it through three, maybe. I think so, through three Deep Red. Films. Yeah, so it was uh, through Rossio. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Profundo Rossio. Rossio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good time. And then you did some soda time. terrorism as well. I did. What does that mean? Well, I got a soda, and you know, it's an older theater. It's not really a cup holder situation. Yeah. But I had it over, I had put it somewhere. And I'm always worried about being cold at movie theaters, especially yeah. ones that aren't the eye pick because, you know, they give you a blanket and a pillow. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even that. know that about yeah. the eye pick. fucking eye pick. What's that? I love that I love fucking it. eye pick. I have I love to go. It, it sounds so like it. I'd be into it. God, Let's go see Book Club. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, know that, you know that that's the, the movie I most want to see right now. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my God. We have I'm to go. I'm dying to see it. Have you I seen heard. the Real Housewives little fake ad that they've done for it? Yes. Yeah, that was okay. cute. I just want to make sure because, you course. know, I knew you'd be into it. Of course. I heard it was terrible. It's not that I would presume that you would be unaware of such a. Hello. Fine piece of advertising. Um, I mean, of <laughs> course I'm aware, but I mean, I, I've I've been excited about book club for months. Really, oh, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> to me, it's like it's 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 like this year's it's complicated or something's got to give, <laughs> which are two films that I always have on my laptop when I travel because when I fly, I, yeah. I it, flying gives me horrible anxiety. I'm really? just terrified of flying. Really, yeah. and so for some reason those movies are like natural Xanax. So if oh, there's like really cool. bad turbulence and I get really yeah. freaked out, I just throw on, you know, a little, it's complicated. Yeah. And I get just feel... a little feel, Diane Keaton s- yeah, soothe going on. A little on. soothe, yeah. yeah. I love that because we were talking about, remember I was saying one of the things that I used to quell anxiety is a mediocre 80s dramedy. Yeah, uh, yes. Legal Eagles is my go-to jam for like... Wait, I don't know. Wait, what's Legal Eagles? I've never Eagles? seen it. I've never seen oh it. Oh my God. It is, it, it is, is it such, rotten? I, it was Ivan Reitman's first attempt at a dramatic film. Really? But there's elements of comedy in it. It's Deborah Winger, Robert Redford, <gasps> and Daryl Hannah. Oh. Daryl Hannah plays a performance artist. 
Wait, I know this movie. It's yeah. Wait, Wait oh, how have I, not I know seen the scene. this movie? Daryl Hannah. The scene is incredible. The scene is fucking amazing. Which the performance art scene. Yeah, she just demonstrates it, it for Robert Redford. It is it, incredible. It is fire. There's, yeah, fire. there's fire. There's fire. Lots of fire. It is it's amazing. completely unrealistic. It's, it's like amazing. on a sound stage. You would love you would it. Love oh my it. god. It's Terrence Stamp is in it as well as a villain. My fucking friend Andrew showed me that goddamn thing. You son I'm going to go bitch. watch that tonight. And, yes. and um, I just, I recently, uh, I watched Fright Night 2 again and there's a fucking oh, performance did. arc. I forgot that she... The whole the, scene, the whole dance sequence. It's a sequence. performance arc. Yeah. By the a, way, pre- listeners... She's a performance artist. Fright Night 2, uh, we talked about earlier, was not available in any home video format, but some gem out there has uploaded it in 1080p It's to great. YouTube. You can watch it right on YouTube. Yeah. You watch it right on YouTube. It's, never, it's only been issued on like uh, VHS and Laserdisc and even then pan and scan and not a great transfer. Yeah. For some reason, rights issues have held it up. But there's a great bootleg of it, and so it's been making the rounds, and now someone uploaded it yeah. to YouTube. Yeah. And there's that this person is an angel. They angel, are. angel, absolute angel. I watched it the other night, um, and I was so I was so happy I did because I forgot about. There's a scene where the um, where the the vampire crew go bowling. Yes, I remember oh, that right. because of course one of the my favorite character is that is the. Um, uh, the the chick on um is a very androgynous kind of butch looking um uh African American uh, vampire bitch with the claws <laughs> <Vampire> on, <laughs> and she's got roller skates. I saw Friday Night Two for the first time at the New Beverly with the oh, horror marathon. Did. The horror marathon where they don't tell you what you're going to see. They oh, open the night awesome. up with Friday Night Two. I still haven't been to one of those. Oh my god! You know they've been closed for renovations I know, all year. So I know. this October oh you yes. have to go. You as well. I had to go. It's going to yeah. be so go. good. We I would have shot it. myself if I saw Friday Night Two in this thing. <laughs> you would have had some I Pomona. Fucking, I love. Oh wait, 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 wait. So, so yeah, what, okay, wait, 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 what is this Pomona? We got to talk about, about Pomona. Pomona, kids. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please perk up your ears for a nice bit of Argot slang. Acronyms like you wouldn't believe. So going back to our sharding yes. conversation, I said a shart generally leads to a Pomona. Yeah. Which is pee out my own nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome I mean, to I'm Pomona. sure we've all been there where you just, you know, that... that I was that just little there. tickle of food poisoning or whatever <laughs> yeah. it may be. And yeah. it's just, you know, you go and sit down and it's just a faucet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pisses it's, through my yeah. asshole. It's a hell ride, yeah. <laughs> my, I like to think of it as a trap door that opens up. Yeah. It's a trap door that just opens up and then just, just a, about a gallon of water just falls a, out in, in a square. It's a trick door. Trap yeah. of liquid treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Who wants to hear Daryl Hannah's song? I do. I do. Is it which, oh my God. It's called Put Out the Fire. Where can we see this film? Legal Eagles is available on Amazon. I think it's on Prime. I discovered it one time when I was tracking drums by myself at my parents' house. And you know, the, basically, that's a way to lose your mind. Because yeah. you're like, is the level okay? Is it four in the morning? I was agonizing about it. I turned on HBO, Legal Eagles was on, and I got sucked into it. I was like, oh, yeah, this. Piece of cake. Old flame. I was driving down the highway and I saw a car burning on the side of the road. A woman was slumped over the wheel. Her shoulders were shaking like she was crying. This is a demo she's doing for one person, right? That makes sense. Yeah, in her living room. Yeah, in her living room. Because you can do this sort of stuff over and over, right? Brush. She co wrote this song, by the way, Carol Hannah. Did she really? Yeah. Through the windshield on the hood of the car, there was a stack. Maybe it was a small child. As I drove by, I noticed that nobody stopped. Nobody stopped. Neither did I. Put out the fire. 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 
<laughs> Isn't that amazing? That is incredible. How great is that? Does that have a soundtrack? Uh, hang on one sec. <laughs> 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 Leave it up to the archivist. Oh Stop my God! It. He's got oh my the God! Wait a minute. Okay, right here. I'm not going to ask you the question of what this. I'm going to request on air because I don't want anyone's to steal our ideas. Oh, okay. We'll talk about it after. Okay, that's yeah something okay. for off the. We'll put a pin in it. As we'll Andy put a pin in it. Yeah, we'll put and, a pin in it. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah Winger, Daryl Hannah, and Robert Redford. Here's another great thing about the soundtrack. So the theme song for it is Love Touch by Rod Stewart, mm-hmm. which is probably one of the worst Rod Stewart songs, even though That's it's not produced, a good one. Yeah. It's terrible. Even it's though a it was terrible written song. a rotten song, even more so because it was written and produced by Mike Chapman who's one of the greatest songwriters, pop songwriters ever. He wrote Ballroom Blitz and oh, yeah. uh, he produced Blondie, The Knack. So that's the big song from the film. There is a note on the back of the sleeve that says, Rod Stewart's Love Touch is not included in this collection. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no idea why. But that song, it's worth it for the Daryl Hannah song, which that I much song, prefer. Absolutely. Awesome. Way better than, than Rod Stewart's that song. That song is so cool. Daryl Hannah is my, ugh. She's amazing. Yeah. God damn, I love her so much. What is she doing now? I think she was living in a teepee for a while. Was she? Really? Yeah, and oh. then I think she's been romantically linked with Neil Young. Oh, interesting. Oh, yes. I think I yeah. did I did remember reading that somewhere. Mm-hmm. Cool. That seems like a good pair. It does. It definitely yeah. does. Yeah. That makes sense to me. What was the one where she did... Um, it I'm going to take Dee Dee's yawning as a sign of interest. <laughs> 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 what was the one with uh, like something heart? Um, uh, uh, with Daryl Hannah in it? Yeah. It, uh, no, no, no. Um, fuck. Hearts of Fire? Nope. Fuck, fuck. Quest for fire. Ding, um, no. Ding dong and ding the... dong and the fire bomb. bomb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. It was a, uh, uh, not brave heart, dear heart, sour heart, sour, sour heart, heart. <laughs> uh, shit heart, shit heart, shit heart. It was yes. shit heart. It was shit heart. It was yes. shit heart. Of course. Yeah. She, and they went. It's it one it of was her best. Shot in Pomona. Most un- yeah. underrated. Yeah. Totally <laughs> underrated. Yeah. Well, it was just ahead of its time. You know, it, really I mean, it was. was so graphic and yeah. startling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of like Angel Heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just watched rewatched that recently. How great is that movie? It's, it just gets better every time. What the That's fuck right. movie is that? So Angel, Angel Heart. Heart, where Robert De Niro, I don't want to spoil it, but he plays the devil. And Mickey Rourke. <gasps> Mickey Rourke. Oh, I got to watch Lisa it. Bonet. Lisa Bonet in the role that outraged Bill Cosby. Bill mm-hmm. Cosby uh, shunted her onto a different world and away from the Cosby show because he did not approve of her appearing nude in the film. Okay, well, you know what? He only approved of her appearing nude. In his bedroom. In his bedroom. Mm-hmm. May I have a cigarette? Uh, absolutely. Is that Didi, okay? Is that okay, is that okay with you? We'd like Do to you ask mind? our guest. Is it okay? No, it's Didi. fine. Go Didi. for it. Okay, great. Didi. 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 Is it okay? It's fine. Okay. Katya, it's fine. make sure Didi thinks Didi, it's Didi, is right. it okay? It's fine. Do you mind? No. Okay. Didi, are you sure? Didi, are you sure? <laughs> well, actually, now let me think. Yeah. <laughs> now now we've gone too far, Katya. Now we've gone too far. Yeah. Well, I'll just go kill myself. Are you gay? I'll are wa- <laughs> don't worry. I'll talk you through it. Okay. Don't I worry. just want the maximum <laughs> crunch while I go. Yes. I just the max- maximum crunch, you know, without that, the world is a little bit more I feel like the sh- maximum sh- crunch sh- might be a secret suicidal video. <laughs> I think you're I right. Because I wanted to jump out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though I love showing or turning people onto it, as it were, it still gives me a little bit of a tremor. I I'm going to do, I'm going to do an ASMR pickle video. It's just going to call it. A mild mid-level crunch. <laughs> mild, yeah. The half sour. Half sour, half sour. medium. That's good. I like that. That's a half a good sour one. limp pickle. <laughs> How about just a smush? Just a smush. Yeah, yeah just a smushing. Just pickle just smush. Smushing pickles. Smush. Smush. We're going to smush this fucking pickle. We're going to smush this fucking pickle. We're going to take it out of the fucking jar. We're going to smush this fucking pickle. While we're outside having a cigarette, I just want to ask everyone to please subscribe on iTunes and write a review. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, for those of you who have not checked out our Patreon page, now's a perfect time to go there. Patreon.com slash Katya and Craig. And you'll see all of the terrific bonus material we have on offer. Again, that's bonus episodes, bonus listener questions episodes, and also Katya and Craig's Movie Club. All right, now back to the show. We got a click. Yeah. Got the click on there to make sure we stay in time. time. <laughs> oh, yeah. We like that strict rhythm. I like when time stands still, personally. <laughs> do you like when time turns back? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you like to turn back time? If I could turn <laughs> back time, if I could find a way. Oh, you have a songbird voice. She does indeed. And so many different projects as well. <laughs> please, please el- elucidate and elaborate on <sighs> the many projects you have been embroiled in, Miss Dee Embroiled in. Yes. I mean, I have been embroiled in many projects, but um, 
no i i i decided to just kind of go full force with a a solo journey Mm -hmm. a couple years ago so i signed with a label just a little indie label and i put out my first solo record terrific record last year thank you we're doing a whole remix album of that oh cool so that's that that's going to be the next thing to come out and then i'm working on another full length Mm -hmm. um two years cool yeah. And is that a different vibe? It's a little bit of a different vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's still, you know, it's still the Kenny same. G, Yanni, yeah. The stuff yeah. that we always listen yeah, to. Yeah. Oh, my mom hang. loves Yanni. Um, <laughs> Who doesn't, yeah. right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Hey. Yeah. You can't knock Yanni. Listen, good enough for Yanni. Linda Evans, good enough for me. <laughs> whatever's good enough for Linda is good exactly. enough for me. <laughs> I personally love the other Linda E. Not the Evangelista, but the Evans. Oh, of course. Yes. Do you the ever, only Linda E. Do you e. get into um, a little Pavarotti? A, a little, little Pavarotti. A, a little Pavarotti. A little Pavarotti. Sarah. Oh, I, I, just, you, I love you a like little Sarah Brightman. I love a little Pavarotti. You know, I've been obsessed <laughs> with, and I don't know why I haven't seen it yet, but there's a, he did a film called Yes, Giorgio. Ooh, a romantic comedy starring, starring Pavarotti. You're, no. And Catherine Harold. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Goodness knows. I think MGM thought that this is a solid deal. He's a big hit singer and... Uh, He's a big fat Italian singer <laughs> with a great voice. It's going to make a lot of Boku bucks. He's massive. Yeah, this Boku is going to be massive. Yeah, Boku bucks. <laughs> Boku bucks. <laughs> I wish I could be like a studio head. Oh, God. Oh, so, you know? I sometimes have fantasies of just like, you know... Being that bitch running the studio. Yeah. Listen, You're all you tell fine. them if they don't have those reels in by 10 o'clock, it's yes. curtains for them. Yeah, it's curtains. I'm going to blow this building up. You're all out of a job. You'll be incinerated. Blow the door. I'm going to fuck your bones. Who the fuck approved the curtains for this scene? I, this is outrageous. This is not my yeah. color palette. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't mention the title of your... Oh, your... so oh, that yes. The, the album coming out, the remix album, is going to be called Bird of Paradise. The, the ah. Panoply remixes. Because there's a new track, which I, I said I had to play for you. Oh my God, I really yeah, want to hear it. Um, you know, the, the last album is definitely, you know, it's it's definitely a little bit more moody. It's down tempo electronic. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this is mostly um, mostly a lot of house remixes. Great. Honey Dijon did a remix oh, for fabulous. me. Oh, fabulous, yeah. Mm. Um, spicy. Spicy. Yeah, so it's kind of moving in a different direction. Yes. For old Dee Dee. Dee Dee's on a new path. She's on a, a new... she's on a tear, that Dee Dee. She's going hot. She's coming in hot. She's pulling out wet. She's jamming it back in dry. (laughs) Pomona. Tonight at nine. Pomona. (laughs) Wouldn't wouldn't it just be a tickle if I could play in Pomona? (laughs) No, because there is. No, I played in. Listen, I performed in in Pomona many times. And don't you dare poo-poo Pomona. I'm not going to poo-poo Pomona. No pun intended. (laughs) Well, that was one of my favorite tiki numbers. Poo-poo Pomona. Poo-poo Pomona. Yeah, with uh, Jerry and the Dingle Hoppers. Poo-poo Pomona. Dude. It all night. I love Pomona. I love Pomona. I mean, I don't love Pomona. I love Pomona. I mean, I, lo- I look. <laughs> I love. Pomona. I love Pomona, and I and I don't mind a Pomona because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just sometimes you just need to lose a couple pounds. <laughs> you do. You do. You need to shard away the pain. You do. Yeah. Yeah. You do. That's yeah. right, as the song says. Yes. yes. Shard away the pain. I think that was a uh, going to be Peach's original idea for yes. the title. That's of what Fuck she was going to be called. Pooches. Yeah, pooches. Yeah. yeah. Shard away the pain. Shard away the pain <laughs> at a at a Vanderpump Dog Day. Yes. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. So you went to Vanderpump Dog Day. I did. I went to Vanderpump Dog Day. And what did you see there? I got to meet Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, lovely. Which was, cool. which, yeah. There was a man that yeah. was mostly naked. Yeah. 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 Well, now, I believe he was wearing an American flag. No, he, speedo. yeah. He, the, that, yeah. That was, that's mostly naked. But yeah. he was covered in what you thought looked like diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> yes. Staying it, on topic. Yeah. yeah but, of course. But it was peanut butter. Yum. And he was being walked around on a leash. Mm-hmm. And I think the intent was that, you know, the dogs would lick the it dogs up. would come and lick him yeah yeah which some people found to be very disturbing because mm-hmm. it was just not that type of party party yeah, yeah it was you know it, it was a family day exactly yeah, yeah a lot of kids it around. was, a, it was yeah. a fundraiser for you know animal cruelty prevention. yeah yeah because she's she's doing this because she wants to show that you know because she's been doing all the stuff um to stop the yulin the in the dog meat festivals in that's China. right so she wants to show that we can have a dog festival and have it be positive. Right. Basically, we can have a dog festival that no one eats the dogs That's here right. in America. Yeah. But see, you know, the the my favorite part of these dog festivals was always eating the dogs alive. Yeah. 
Well, so, see, that's well, you I, can't I get guess, that in West Hollywood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. you got to go to the east side for different that. Different times, yeah. You could probably get that in key. Pomona. Yeah, yeah that's oh, true. You can get yeah. that yeah. in yeah. Pomona, more, yeah. Yeah. Pomona. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> quite a bit more. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I personally was not like so aghast about this thing, but mm -hmm. I get why people would think, well, this is really strange. But I, I mean, from his perspective, he's yeah. just like. This is my thing. Like this yeah. is what I want. This is my fetish. And yeah. there's a lot of dogs. And look at well, yeah. there was a lot of dogs. And I, I, when my friend Andrew and I walked past it on the way to the library, and then we saw all the dogs. We saw a turtle. I thought that was fun. And then we walked over, and I was sitting outside, uh, uh, waiting to go into a meeting. And and the the man, the naked, the nearly nude man, Mr. Peanut Butter, Mr. Peanut Butter, mm -hmm. which I thought was Mr. Diarrhea, <laughs> was was just just sashay Some Shantang. Some dogs are into that too. Yeah, That's, oh, there absolutely. You go. Yeah. yeah, he was just sashay Shantang right down the runway of the sidewalk, and I and my friend Andrew and I were like, oh. And then we saw a, a, a guy come, um, was followed him with like a camera. So yeah. I was like, oh, okay, he's just working on a oh, project. Oh, the Diarrhea Man. Yeah, he's just it's working on a project. Yeah, yeah he's just yeah. working yeah. on a yeah. project. He's just an artiste. <laughs> In in terms of your uh, career, what has been the most harrowing episode that you've ever found yourself embroiled in? There was a situation once where we played at Art Basel and it was just like technical issue after technical issue. And it was at a, it was at a party sponsored by Grey Goose. And I just find that when you're playing these parties that are sponsored by a liquor brand, yeah. um. it's like... No one is fucking paying attention. Yeah, right. So you're just in a room of like 2,000 drunk people at Loud, this private party, people, yeah. and you're trying to sing, and you can't even focus because they're just like socializing, yeah, like, right, right? You know, right. And smashed. And yeah, wasted just, yeah. and talking so loudly. Yeah. So I think that's, you know, that's. That's always that's always challenging as a performer. Yeah, yeah as yeah. a performer. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Brian, you must have to, had some of those. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? Well, yeah. Tell me, what's oh, your most harrowing? Oh, how about this one? How about this one? Tell me. Okay. Give it so, to me. So, um, I've got <laughs> I've got a whole laundry list. Um, but one of the most humiliating endeavors was way back in Boston. This was before Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Boston's and a perfect place to have humiliating experience. Humiliating. Yeah. And this was hilariously apropos to, to my career because we were, so three of us were hired from Jacques to go. Now, we did two shows on Saturday, mm -hmm. one at seven, mm -hmm. one at 10. Mm -hmm. We ended the show around 8.30. We took pictures. Uh, we were hired by... Um, to do a birthday in a Russian restaurant. Oh, okay. 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 I so see. we were, we were, we got in a, a little clown car. We, we booked it to like Brookline or something. <laughs> yeah. And then, so birthday party, Russian people love to have private birthday parties in restaurants. There's always like a back yeah. room. There's mm -hmm. always like a hidden room. There's something going into the big to do's. And so, and then the, um, we were, three of us cross dressing hooker hose were ushered in. Now this one lady loved drag. Mm -hmm. One lady loved drag. This is always the case. One lady is, gets hog wild about drag. And then in, she just knows that it's going to be the most dazzling thing for everybody. And no matter how long she's known these people that oh. she's going to have at the party, she has no idea. No idea. That the, the programming the, is the not pro going to mesh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And and we're just like 150 bucks. Sure. We'll do <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. Sure. We're broke whores. <laughs> We're ushered into a private room of uh, a private dining room where there's maybe like 20 people sitting around a table. And then she's like, no, we have entertainment <laughs> for you. And then uh, we're supposed to lip sync one after the other around a table to an iPhone dock. Oh, dear. That is put at maximum volume. Which what? sounds like this. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I choose a Russian song because of course, well, right. When yeah. in Rome. Sure, play to the crowd. Right? Play to the crowd. I'm, it is, in it for a lip syncer, it is the most humiliating thing to have the volume low. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just, it, there's no worse humiliation. No, it just rips it all yeah. away. It, yeah. it, there's, you become rendered so useless yeah. Yeah. in such a lot. It's like, you might as well just go like pinch people and, and, you know, like in eat their food, yeah, right. you know, yeah. just like, it's a total <laughs> fucking clown show. <laughs> and we were just like, we did it one after the other. And, and we watch as like, as one girl goes and we're like, Oh my God, this is the worst thing. And then I go and I was like, it, and I went, and it was like three and a half minutes. Thank God. <gasps> and then all of us, and then we sort of mingled a little bit and then we got the 
fuck out of there. Yeah. You just go in there, you shit all over it, and then you get out. Hmm. It was but that's awful. what you got to do sometimes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and you know, and especially in the beginning when you are playing these these smaller clubs, you don't totally. really have your your pick and choose of no. of these great things that you want to do. Right. But it is really challenging because here you think you're going into these places, these clubs or these venues and promoters or people that are hiring you that are supposed to be professionals. Right. Oh, and this is what they do every day. Yeah. And they just treat you like absolute shit. Right. Like, and without you, there is no show. Right. Without you, there is no show. Oh, yeah. But also, you know, without them, there isn't, you know, there there's, is, no there's no venue. There's no, no sure. venue. Yeah. There's no yeah. sound. No, of course. No but one. I mean, like. But like, I just don't see how that can't be still considered a collaboration just as you would collaborate. But that's what I mean. You know what I mean? If yeah. you're going into the studio to write with somebody, if you're right. going to do a show with somebody, right. you know. That that's still a collaboration. So if you're going into a club, if you're going to do a performance, like, yeah, get your fucking shit right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're the one that's always going to get blamed if right. shit doesn't oh. go right. You oh know my what god. I mean? Always. Yeah. yeah always. Yeah. yeah. I. But although on the other hand, like I remember, um, me and Trixie did like, um, uh, we did Romy and Michelle's high school reunion, fun. and I was it was it was super fun. But I was such a dick. Like I didn't watch the movie, <laughs> and <laughs> I was supposed to watch the movie, and I was like, I don't like that movie, but I'll do this show. I need. You know, blah. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. And then so like I car- like I'm like reading the script. And I don't get any of the jokes, and <laughs> and then I like read the script and I but like for me like drag is always like drag is drag you know like even we're not like trained thespians um so like when there was moments during the the show we did two shows where I, I forgot the lines it, but it's funny to me like sure. I mean I I just thought it was funny but I'm kind of an asshole I guess well you kind of like the disaster part I love the disaster of drag especially if it's in a theater like that because it's it's not supposed to be perfect well, it's also part of the improvisation isn't well, it well see I love improv yeah yeah that's, yeah. yeah I love right. improv but anyways yeah but it, it's you know it, yeah it's it's always there's so many I mean I have so many humiliating sta- it, it, it's the, the most humiliating it's just so bad it's so I, I, can't, I can't count the amount of times anything went right no, I mean nothing ever goes right. No. Things go like yeah. we are like, oh yeah, like I didn't feel like crying through that. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. right. I, didn't, I didn't leave right. the stage and immediately I didn't leave when I commit suicide. Right. I feel like, slightly yeah. numb. Yeah, I feel yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go watch something yeah. until I can get yeah. rid of the adrenaline <laughs> right. later and right. then maybe yeah. fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, but it, that's like that's what it is. Like you perform, right. it's like you do it, and then you know whatever. You, you know. just fucking move on. Yeah. yeah. Well, conversely, when you do have a venue or promoter that is on their shit. You're like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and and in drag nowadays, like people are finally getting their shit together because, mm-hmm. like, no drag is like a real legitimate touring industry for sure. Like, and, yeah. and we're playing proscenium theaters where fucking David Bowie has played. <laughs> right. right. Like it's yeah. it's. I found I was like, this we can we do not belong here. <laughs> this is not right. And I like, do they know what we do? Yeah, this is not right. And I especially I was like, gosh, oh my god, I probably should have rehearsed something. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's like so bad. But yeah, it's crazy. It's so weird. I feel like it's almost kind of like a travesty, but it is literally a travesty. Travesty means transvestite. Really? Yeah, uh, in another language. It travesty, does. travesty. Oh. Huh. That's funny. You like words? I love words. <laughs> we like the I words. I love a play on words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Puns. Um. <laughs> Did you ever watch Sex in the City? Oh my God, it's so funny you bring that up because my husband, so my husband went on some Wanderlust train trip for his birthday a couple okay. weeks ago. Okay. And... He does not like Sex in the City. Okay, okay. So, okay. We got to talk about. We got to talk about. And by the way, when Tim doesn't like something, oh, he, he doesn't like he it. Doesn't, okay, like uh, just before we get into this, the Arnold Schwarzenegger All Night Marathon that I told you about. Uh huh. So the the whole thing that we're like, what are they going to play next? Because they didn't tell you. They don't tell you there yeah. the marathons. Yeah. And the whole time he's going, I just fucking hope they don't play Kindergarten Cop. They just fucking if they play Kindergarten Cop, and I thought I thought he was just kind of joking, right? First movie comes on, it's great. It's Predator, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fucking, it's a classic. We're all just, in, <laughs> we're just living for it. Uh-huh. And then the trailers start for the next movie and he's like, I, j- I just hope they're not going to play. And I go, listen, Tim, I have a feeling it's coming up at some point. I don't know when. when yeah. They're, they're going to do, do it. They're going to do it. They're going to be one of the comedies. He's like, oh, fuck, if it's twins. And then, he's, then I start finding out about Tim's deep loathing of any comedic Arnold Schwarzenegger performance. <laughs> oh, wow. Then what happens? Kindergarten cops comes on the screen, and just like the sigh that came out of Tim <laughs> was just like he was like, "Oh God damn!" But it was like something really bad had happened, right? Yeah. So anyway, you're so yeah. So he was out of town, and I was like, "This is just a really great time to rewatch Sex in the City." Perfect. 
But I started it like season three or something. You have to. The first, season one is see, it's garbage. Real, it's garbage. It's really hard it to watch. It can make you doubt if you like the rest of the series. Right. But no, but but what was interesting, so I watched season three through the end, mm-hmm. and then I watched the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I watched, and then he's, because then he went on a camping trip this last <laughs> oh, weekend. Right. So then I watched <laughs> Sex in the right. City, the movie, one yeah. and two. Okay. But it was, for some reason, it was really hard to go back and watch this time. Uh-huh. Like, well, no shit. Because... It's just so crazy to me now the shit that they that they like some of the things they were talking about and right. saying in the subject matter was just very problematic and it was yeah. really uncomfortable yeah. to watch yeah. this time yeah. around. Yeah. It is such capitalist garbage. It really is. And it's kind of tone deaf to a whole range of oh, things. Oh, it's so Oh my god, tone so it's deaf. like almost all things. Almost almost yeah. all and things. And honestly, coming out of it this time, I'm just like I fucking hate Carrie Bradshaw. Yes, yeah. Cuz I always liked her outfits. Sure. Oh, yeah, but yeah. it was but, but the it was only like, thing I'm like, about she's yeah. a fucking nightmare she's a psycho psycho bitch. fucking bitch you know the she's whole a psycho she's bitch. a spoiled fucking bitch the oh, story yeah. arc where she feels that charlotte should lend her money like she's obligated to lend her money she you know gets aiden back and then he, oh, he wants right. to marry her and she just can't do it and <laughs> even though he bought the apartment next door and they're fusing, and the, they're apartments. fusing the apartments together so they so basically he was kicking her out of the apartment right. because he's like you have to either move out or you have to buy me out yeah and so she needed the money she needed like i don't know whatever it was a lot a lot of yeah. money but also like charlotte and so charlotte has the ring from her divorce oh yeah i remember, remember this that one. and yeah, she's yeah, just yeah. like and then she shows up at the apartment and charlotte's wearing her ring and she's like charlotte is that a ring on your finger <laughs> and it's just like she's like what i just like wearing it at home and then and i'm just like what okay bitch yeah. you just had a ring on your finger <laughs> yeah. and a man that bought you an apartment yeah. and yeah. you're like i can't do this yeah yeah this yeah. is all you complain about on the whole entire show. No, exactly. Yeah. Right. You oh got the guy God. back. He actually, they're fusing the apartments. It's yeah. no easy feat. Do you know how hard that is to do in New York City? I mean, oh, um, I still can't get by. Like, it's like I sci-fi. St- it, 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 it is, is. sci-fi. Yeah. It, it is, is sci-fi. To have a fucking brownstone in Manhattan mm-hmm. where, where you're I like, know. where you think about clacking away on a laptop maybe three hours a week. <laughs> Right, and it's like in between on a your blue bin- laptop, yeah in, a, yeah, in your fucking beautiful window, and in between your sh- your shopping at Dolce and Gabbana and Prada, and and the endless brunches as well with women who brunch- clearly are in higher tax brackets. Oh yeah, absolutely, oh, of course, because they all have jobs. That's right, yeah, they all have jobs. And Samantha like runs well, no, a law firm. Well, no, two of them have jobs. She? One just married. Rich. No, Samantha's that's a PR right. maven. That's right. She's yeah, a PR yeah. maven, she's and a PR Miranda's maven. a lawyer. Miranda's a I'm fucking mixing lawyer. Up some bits and Charlotte's skits a, here, but yeah. Charlotte's a housewife. A housewife. Yeah, yeah. And the one I, I remember in the movie, there was a line in the first movie, and uh, uh, Carrie says to Big once they're married, and and she's pestering him to go out for dinner every single night. Oh yeah, that's yeah. In, the, yeah. in the second movie. In the, no, no, in the in the first movie. No, no, in the second. It's in the second. It's movie. in the second movie. Okay, before she, she goes to Abu Dhabi. Oh yeah, and she's like, what? <laughs> yeah. She says, what am I? A, just a bitch wife that nags you? And I'm like. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Yeah. You are that. Yes, that is you. Yeah. You are a bitch wife that is nagging him. Like he, because uh, yeah. I'm just like you're complaining because he wants to stay home every night and he bought you this apartment and watch TV. I'm like that sounds like a fucking dream. Yeah, and he's your dream man. You're and your he's dream always man. there. He's, yeah. the, he's the the knight in uh, whatever. The knight in and, Cadillac armor. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. it's so crazy. It's, it's really so crazy. So insane. It's really insane, and it's so. F- it's so crazy to think that at the time people were like, oh my God, you know, this feminist show, it's this feminist movement. <laughs> oh I'm like, God. it's the scourge of capitalist white feminism. It's to- it totally is. Yeah. I'm like, this is, I mean, maybe this is some people's brand of feminism. I worked in a bookstore um, way back when this whole chick lit phenomenon was yeah. like really big with like the devil wears Prada and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And I had this manager who's like, God damn, I wish this, she was a woman. She's like, I wish this fucking stupid trend would die. <laughs> she was just, <laughs> like, just By hated the way, it. Devil wears Prada. I liked the movie up until, I actually liked the movie. Up until that fucking ending where I was like, fuck this person because she's like, Oh, my shithead boyfriend wants more of my attention. So I'll just ditch this amazing opportunity that I have. And it'll be great. Yeah. That's basically all I remember from the film. Wait, Meryl Streep was great in it, but uh, Meryl Streep was great. Yeah, that's all. That's, that's all. all that really matters. That's all. That's all. Oh, and back to Tim for a second. Yeah. yeah. So it didn't stop there with his disgruntled. Uh, it did. Oh, did twins come on? No, it didn't. But about fifteen to twenty minutes in, he gets up, and I thought he's just going to the bathroom or, or you know get a coffee or something. <laughs> he's gone for like an hour. Oh, really? <laughs> 
and he, and this is only the second movie and it comes back and I got, I was like everything okay like are you what? and he goes oh no no there's a Chinese place next door and I was like oh, oh oh okay you didn't know about Tim and his like disappearing acts where he'll <laughs> no. leave in the middle of like wherever we're socializing oh, see, I love that tell me more tell I me love more that. no he does this all the time one time oh, I love that we I were we were at um we were at Malo with a bunch of friends and he was just getting you know he doesn't like lingering dinners oh, okay I, I don't either uh-huh. he doesn't like a lingering dinner but we were like meeting friends where it was just like we were having snacks but mainly everybody was just like meeting for a drink yeah. and like hanging out out. okay and he just was you know he was over it he was like we've been here for an hour <laughs> yeah he's like i'll be right back <laughs> i'm gonna go get you know whatever so he goes across the street he's like gone for over an hour <laughs> and i'm like texting him calling he's not picking up i'm like what the fuck and he comes back he went across the street yeah. to go get a mani pedi <laughs> oh my god i love this man that is the greatest i thing. love this oh man oh my god that is incredible there was I another time we were at this bar in our neighborhood and it was you know it was dia de la huerta it was, uh-huh. so they were having a festival there yeah. yeah and we're just hanging out and we're like hanging out on the smoking patio and the smoke bothers his asthma so he's All just right. like he's like well i'm hungry i'm gonna go find a taco so i'm like okay so he leaves i'm like you know we're on Figueroa in Highland Park, yeah. there's like a bunch of taco trucks. Sure. I'm just figuring he's going to go get a taco. He'll be back in 20 minutes. Yeah. He's gone for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and same thing. I'm calling him. I'm texting him. We're going outside on the street looking around. We don't see him. Yeah. And then he finally, he calls me back. He's like, I was like, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm in the back of the bar. They have a face painter back here. I'm in the back of the bar getting my, my face painted. I was like, well, why didn't you tell us? He's like, well, because there was a line and I didn't want to lose my spot. Oh, my God. So I he's love back that. there and he comes back with like the full face. No pa- way. Pa- full of oh, my God. Oh, I love this man. That is man. amazing. That is amazing. I would, I would do the same thing. If I was at a birthday dinner, I would probably just leave and come back as a notary public. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like I don't, those long. Like, I can't imagine being at a movie marathon. Oh, I, I, I love it so. Now, are there much. snacks? Are there lots of snacks? Oh, is there dinner? Well, is there they full have, dinner? Well, no, they, they have snacks, but they actually they actually have probably the best movie theater popcorn in the city. I agree. So just fully. popcorn though, no no pretzels, no hot pretzels. They have hot dogs, don't they? They do. They have hot dogs, Hebrew National, and also they have tons of different old candies. And yeah, but what about pretzels? Well, I no, for the marathons, know. they might have pretzels. I don't remember? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think remember. they do, but. On the movie marathon nights, they allow you to bring in your own food. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. They do oh, allow you to bring in your phone. Awesome. It's the yeah. best. So I bring a cooler. Oh, you bring a whole shebang. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. you brought yeah. some snacks for the Argento Festival. That's right. Yeah, you yeah. guys had some cool snacks. And yeah, I had, had a couple snacks. sandwiches oh, with me nice. and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah you a bunch of iced lunch. tea. Yeah. You pack oh, lunch. yeah. I mean, it's a nice tight space. Lunch. You know, it can be, it, it, it really depends. I mean, I feel like in those situations, you know, there is a line to cross where you still want to just be respectful of your surroundings. Oh, absolutely. With odor, with food odor. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know because it's like being in an airplane cabin yeah it's very similar you don't bring a sloppy joe you don't bring you know or you don't bring yeah you don't bring like indian food to coach right right. that's a bummer because i love indian food. no i love indian food too and everybody should love indian food yeah but i just feel like there's you know certain smells that are really hard to take when you're locked in a yeah 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 when you bring a a sonic paneer into the yeah i had a near disaster with um some kind of leaky pickle situation. Where, oh, a leaky pickle. Oh. A leaky pickle. I've yeah. heard of her. Have you ever been to the leaky pickle? It's uh, yeah, in Pomona. Been, yeah. It's, on, it's off Main oh, Street. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah right it. off of Main and... Main and um, uh, in Dingle. Yeah, Main yeah. and Dingle near, yeah. near Corolla. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, uh, well, at the Gelson's where I got the sandwiches, they gave us the side pickles in a baggie. Mm-hmm. The trouble is the baggie mm. ripped or something. And I was like, I was like, do you, do you smell the pickle? The... <laughs> so there was almost like a big wet pickle splotch uh, well, at the, uh, oh we didn't even get back to oh, your soda well, terrorism no, so yeah. my soda terrorism well so you know because i i i was like we're gonna be here all night it might be cold yeah and i like to be comfortable and so i have this jacket this giant it looks like a giant duvet blanket <laughs> it does like a actually, big yeah, padded yeah. jacket yeah. not appropriate for la but i'm i'm a cold person <laughs> okay. so it gets cold in there too it does get cold in there and so i'm looking for my soda and i can't find it because i had like taken the jacket off and because it was so big the jacket sleeve had like knocked the soda over oh no and all of a sudden i kind of hear this dripping sound and i was like what the fuck is that and i looked down and the entire soda 
is just spilled and just like leaking. It's probably like down five rows at this point. Oh, yeah, because it's an angled no. floor. It's an angled floor. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's just rolling Son on down. Son of a bitch. But the great thing about it is we had just discovered because of the sight line problem. I, this is the first time I noticed this. On the right hand side, the sight lines aren't so great if you have a tall person in front of you. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. quickly noticed there was an, there was a shithead with a hat. First there was, all. there was. So uh, I, I, we were like, I, I, can, I, can. I can cannot with a hat. I can't with a hat at the movie theater. Oh, it, 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 oh. Also, the one lady had a loose top knot and, and w during the screening, yeah. a total recall. And I was like, I want to cut that fucking thing off. Just tie it down. But there was a real fucking jerk that was in our row that he was he so rude to us yeah especially you because yeah. you had your back turned like you were doing something and he was like ah come on i'm just trying to get to my seat so he had to deal with the problem which is great because we quickly moved we're rows. like you know what my gift to you yeah <laughs> yeah go fuck yourself there was a hat situation me and uh uh trixie mattel's boyfriend went to see sarah silverman at largo mm -hmm. and um they were taping it for her special oh, right yeah and in the front row there was a woman with a hat and they said, everybody in this like area, mm -hmm. you got to take off your hat. Right. She wouldn't take off her hat. Oh, God. So there was this whole thing. Yeah. And then all of us were like, oh, my God, what's under the hat? Right. So, oh. like, so if you, they're like, ma'am, if you, if you don't want to take off your hat, could you please relocate? She wouldn't relocate. She wouldn't relocate. She wouldn't relocate. Everybody, there's like this tension brewing. It's like, is there like, is she bald under there? Are there scabs? Is there like <gasps> another little like, is there a growth? Is there like some kind of frizzy bad haircut? It was like the tension was mounting and mounting and mounting. How big so, was the hat? The hat was, it was large. Yeah. Like it was a large. It was like a, it was like a, not a top hat. It was like a fedora oh, or something. Okay. It was like a hat. It was a big hat moment, and and then she finally takes off the hat, and there's a perfectly fine hairdo underneath it. Just so being she difficult. She just wanted to be difficult. She just yeah. wanted to be. Uh, she wanted. She to wanted be, to be in the front and maybe get caught on camera with, with the her hat, fabulous the fedora. She had to yeah. have her yeah. fabulous fedora. Yeah. On screen. Yeah, it was. I, I I don't understand what drives a person to such a to such a thing, such lengths. Well, I mean, remember, maybe she really just felt that it was a whole part of her, the unity of her the outfit. Ensemble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ensemble. But you know what? It's Sarah Silverman's show. It's not her show. That's it, right. It's not certainly not her. It's not the it's fabulous true. hat lady show at Largo. <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, they don't film those. No, and then that motherfucker with the with the um with the feather, oh, the the feather Phil at the fucking Grace with his, Jones with his 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 budget Philip Treacy hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. Believe, yeah. It's um. It like what do you call that? Millinery. It was millinery. Yes, millinery, Josh. Millinery. Yeah, that's when we all the went to see. Fucking Kentucky Derby. Oh my derpy. god, I couldn't believe him. We all went to see and Grace then, Jones. Yeah. So, and then yeah. he yeah. wanted to keep. He kept it on for like almost all the Q and A too. Yes, yeah. he did. Yes, he did. Yeah. And you got you got a nasty comment from someone behind us. I did get a nasty comment. I was trying to get a picture. I was trying to get a video clip. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to get a quick video clip. Uh -huh. And the guy, instead of saying, oh, could you move that? Or I'm sorry, that's in my way. He goes, could you hold your phone up any higher? Oh, my God. I was like, really? Yeah. Okay. I hate when people piss on things like I that. I know. Yes. It's just like, really? Yeah. Everybody's got their phone out right now. It's Grace Jones Q&A. Everyone's going to want to get a picture. Everybody. Yeah. Right. And, and, and actually, it was funny. The first question mm. was hi i drove all the way here oh I, yeah i'm all the way from skid, skid row. row yeah can i please get a, a selfie? selfie and she's like she she handled she, it in a perfectly yeah. diva way she's like darling my, my arms are my arms aren't long enough i don't do selfies i love you i love yeah. you i love you yeah and then she just shut it down and he tried to persist and he she persisted. was like well do you have long arms yeah and oh, she, she made so it sorry. so sorry next you know it was a very like she handled it with a uh, very graciously ah, you see what i did there yeah, oh, that's what oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, he was jonesing for a selfie but ah. she was very gracious <laughs> i mean it is that was a very first strange question. It's to not ask. a question. Yeah. That's I know. A that was a very it That's was a, a very request. strange like you know, okay, now we'll open it up to the audience. And yeah. then you get that, and then you get that fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then that another drove me, one. And that drove me to remember I was like, I'm gonna ask about the fucking oysters because yeah. I was like, I gotta ask yeah. now. I think most of the people who had interesting questions didn't feel like raising their hand well, or right, whatever right. but they That's also didn't really him. allow for there was like maybe two or three people because well, I think the moderator was like oh, this is going nowhere fast yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well and also they kept having the, the, the problems the with the mics, mics. Oh, oh the my mics god were that, was a, that was a disaster but then I, I was outside smoking afterwards we were outside and um, I was I chatted with a random dude and, and he was like this um, this fag and he was <laughs> he was like um, you know I really wish she had taken that selfie with that guy are you kidding me I swear to god are you Why? kidding what I was what? like what? Like, I was oh, like it's Grace, Grace yeah, Jones it's Grace fucking Jones who's but a what fucking like it, I, it would just it was this thing of like, I what I've noticed so much is that this pressure on stars to accommodate every fan's whim yeah which is 
I mean, I get that of like Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Who makes herself so available and has like a, made a career on, on, on like mothering her fan base and all that stuff. Right. But like, this is Grace fucking Jones. Right. What? I'm surprised she didn't, she wasn't just like no, darling, fuck off. You know, it's anything. Like yeah, that, she know. was in a very good spirit. She's very good friendly spirit. to everyone. Yeah, so. she's. I, I met her. I don't know if I ever told you this. Story. I don't think so. Do tell. I've met. I met her. So, I actually met her and ran into Raja in line oh, when cool. we, were, we were. She was doing. Um, Grace was doing a signing at Book Soup. Mm-hmm. For, for oh, her that was a little while my ago. Memoirs. Yeah. yeah, it was like right bef- right after she had played Hollywood Bowl. Oh, okay. Um. So you know, I got in line at like two in the afternoon. Yeah. She, the signing was later that evening, and you know, met her. It was very gracious. You know, she signed my book. Blah 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 blah. But then towards the end of the night there was no line like we had gone like raja and sissy spacek and a whole bunch of other friends we had gone to just have a drink and Mm -hmm. a a bite and so i was walking back to my car and we noticed that there were still people there and it was a different security guard okay so we just got back in line yeah Mm -hmm. and i put my book to a different page that didn't look like it was signed she had her bottle of red wine. Yeah. She, you know, so at this point she was a little, a little bit loose. <laughs> yeah. So I went through and I was just like, will you sign my shirt? Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I gave her the sleeve. Cause I had this t-shirt that this artist had done this really cool, like graphic, like um, portrait of her on this yeah. t-shirt. And she's like the sleeve darling, really <laughs> the sleeve darling. <laughs> <laughs> and she like cups my boobs <laughs> And just start signing her name and then is taking the Sharpie and signing and like making like a bullseye spiral over my nipples oh on my the shirt. God. And she's like, put the nipple to the bottle, darling. I love you. You're oh, sexy. Oh, my God. It's amazing. <laughs> and I have amazing. video of this. You do? I have video oh my of this. God, I have yes. Yes. That. yes. Would you send it, it to us I, so we can yes. put on the Insta? I, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. It was it was probably my most proud woman or moment or my most proud moment as a human being in absolutely life, ever. Oh, that's yeah. yeah fabulous that's fabulous it's hard to beat that yeah well yeah we um should have had a selfie though yeah that would have been trixie and i signed a scrotum once you signed a scrotum <gasps> yeah what 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 kind of pen marker sharpie. device a sharpie, sharpie with yeah. A, yeah yeah in cardiff it's not a smooth surface though no but then you know what you know what he said do you I just think kind I'd, of do you just kind of pull the skin and we, sign we, it? he pulled the skin we signed it really quick uh-huh. and, then, and then but then he looked down i guess we didn't cover enough area because he looked down stared right into our eyes and said there's so much space oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the that was it was like the whole I we didn't get to tour very much together uh-huh. but that was like that that that, no, that doesn't happen very often. Well, thankfully, like, signing yeah. a scrotum I mean, and then and then complaining that you didn't use, use more, more of the canvas. canvas. I mean, yeah. What's what's the proper etiquette for that? What's I don't, the, know. I don't know. What's the he order of like, things to do? Those kids in 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 England get fucking lit. This segment brought to you by the new song from Leah Alice Canali. That's right. If you're in the mood for some hot, sexy, sultry vocals that are going to turn you up to 11 and never back down, <laughs> turn that frown into a gown and listen to The Light. There's no such thing as the right time. Holding your breath about it never makes it better. Come on. You belong in the sunshine. You want to take that frown, turn it all the way upside down, put on a hot and sexy sequins evening gown, get those legs up to 11, get those hands at 3 and 6, get that head firmly entrenched into the hot, sizzling disco vocals of a sultry songstress never before heard, seen, or multiplied. Then we're having luck for you, my friend. We're having luck. We're having great fun luck for you. <laughs> um, this is. Uh, uh, can you hear those? Can you hear those beautiful vocals? I Craig, can hear I, them. I, can, can you hear them? I can hear them, Katya. Because to my ears, they yeah. sound very beautiful. They sound very beautiful and very familiar. Uh, because because uh, that hot singing songstress is the the proprietress of our jingle. That's right. The same <laughs> sultry vocals you hear right now are the ones that open up every one of our regular episodes. What's inside you? Ooh, girl, you've got a hot new song. A hot new song. Wear your best naga, hide. Get out to that dance floor and trudge it up to the light. 
by Leah Alice Canali. Where can you find her on Twitter? Take the cannoli. Take, take the cannoli on the Twitter. On the Twitter, baby, that's the way you do it right. Find the fucking hoe on Twitter. That's the way you want to find some songs. You got to listen, baby, baby, you listen to <laughs> Did you know? What well, did I know? What I don't yet? know. Oh, Ooh, then I can't tell you whether yeah. or not I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Light, yeah. yeah. light in my whole asshole, okay. shining bright. <laughs> so listen, 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 folks, listen up. And to hear the <laughs> undestroyed version of that song, <laughs> yeah. go find her at Take the Cannoli on Twitter. On Twitter.com. That's, That's right. T W I T T E R dot C O M. Did I ever tell you about the time that just outside Bimini in the Bahamas that I uh, gave. Promoted. Did you shot yourself? I promoted and I gave Malcolm McDowell a haircut on a $14 no. million dollar yacht with a kitchen scissors. You, Shut you the fuck need, up. <laughs> you need to tell me this story now because <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I need to know all the elements. Okay, of this. so it starts with this was back in the, this was like in two thousand five, maybe two, yeah, probably 2000, 2004, 2005. Back when like if you were like a you know a freelance crew person, mm-hmm. you could actually go on Craigslist and find like decent you know freelance jobs. Sure, yeah. So I I answered this ad that was just like seemed kind of too good to be true. It's just like shooting an indie film in the Bahamas, like looking for like a couple hair and makeup people. Yeah. You know, it's like this much, whatever the day rate was per day, plus a kit fee, plus all your travel and expenses, everything paid for. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so like I submitted for it and I got it. Mm-hmm. Well, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. And so it's still like, Throughout the whole process, I'm like, okay, I will believe this when I'm actually like, you know, and then uh, sure enough, within a couple days, I had like a reservation confirmation, Mm -hmm. a flight to the Bahamas, the whole thing from LA. And like this, the other, there was another girl that was the hair and makeup person. And we sat next to each other in the plane. And she was just like this really cute, sweet girl who I later found out was a porn star, but that's fine. Or former, former Canadian porn star. Oh, Oh, Canadian. 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 (laughs) Anyways. So we didn't really know much about the film. Yeah. We're just like, you know, we're shooting. So we get there and we're staying in, you know, we're staying at some like really beautiful, amazing. What What's the one in the Bahamas that has like the, the underwater, like aquatic pool and it's got the hmm. big arc. And- Sandals. Sandals. <laughs> sure. <No. laughs> it's sandals, child. <laughs> child, we're staying in sandals. <laughs> um, so we're staying at this place and we're like, and they're like, okay, so we're going to have a production meeting tonight, you know, and we're going to just like give you the whole schedule, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So we go to the meeting and still, still don't have any idea. We just know that like we're doing hair and makeup. We're shooting for four days, yeah. like partially on land, but mostly we're going to be docked at this on this yacht for mm-hmm. two days. And but they're like giving us the breakdown. Like it's you have to be very careful. It's a fourteen million dollar yacht, and everything has just been like newly remodeled. Yeah. And it's very delicate. So like you're only allowed in these areas, and blah 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 blah. Okay, fine. So then we get on the yacht. And they're like, okay, so you're going to be in charge. You're doing Malcolm McDowell's makeup today. And I was like, and he needs a haircut. And, I, and they're like, do you have like a grooming kit? I was like, no, because this is right after 9-11. This oh, is like, you know, right. yeah. not after after 9-11, but then it was after like one of the shoe bomb guys. And so right. then they started like, then they really started being Clamping strict down. with yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you couldn't bring any sharp objects. Yeah. You couldn't yeah. bring. So I'm like, no, I didn't bring my kit because it's expensive and I didn't want to check it in case it didn't get here. Yeah. Sure. And you know, I need this kit for the job. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't bring anything. And they're like, well, we're leaving. We're, you know, we're docked now, but we're leaving in 15 minutes. So you got to find something. So I'm running around and I buy a kitchen scissors, like a Fiskars <laughs> oh, from the gift shop. Oh my God. A Fiskars from the gift shop. And yeah. they're like, it's going to have to do. Oh my God. And so I am just like, you know, whisked off on this yacht. Yeah. And then, you know, I meet Malcolm. And so they're like, well, where do you have the best light? And they're just like shove us in the back of like, you know, like some little office room on this yacht. Mm. And I'm like, and the boat's rocking, oh, you know, God, and I'm like, yeah. have to give him a fucking haircut. <laughs> right. With the right. Fiskars. Yeah. 
the haircut that will be seen and his in the wife film. and son are there oh, he was like great. a baby at the time yeah. he like remarried someone really young and, uh-huh. and she's like oh it looks really good darling oh my god <laughs> And so that was that. That's really damn. Weird. And so I don't know. Well. I don't even remember the name of the movie. That's it was hilarious. like some terrible movie. He's been in a bunch of stinkers. It was yeah. yeah it was, but this was before he had a reprise. That's right. In his yeah. career yeah, on Entourage. The, that right. That yeah. and the Rob Zombie Halloween. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. By the way, if you ever want to get into some like hot, juicy gossip Q and A stuff, go look up Malcolm McDowell Q and A. Any Q and A with him, he tells every story full really? bore. Oh, and he'll rip into people. Oh yeah. my god! Oh, yeah, he's yeah, actually—I yeah. mean, he was super nice. He yeah. was like really professional, really, really nice, mm-hmm. like oh, really chill. So most of the the angry stuff, not the angry, but the more vicious stuff in his Q and As is about people who are dicks to people on sets. Oh, so, so David, he's a whistleblower. Yes, he's a whistle. Oh god, yeah, like David yeah. Caruso. He had nothing nice <gasps> really? to say about him. Rob Zombie directed an episode of CSI Miami. And so every time he David did Cruz that. David Cruz was the, the redhead. The yes, redhead, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was on NYPD Blue. Yeah. Was a huge star. Huge star. And then said, I'm leaving. I'm going to be a film star. Was in a movie called Jade. It tanked yes, his career. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, I William remember Freakin that. Yeah, film. Yeah. yeah. Tanked his career. And then somehow he made it back into the... Uh, the CSI realm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's right. But He's, not the original. It was like not a, the third, original. A, a third tier spinoff. Exactly. The original yeah, starring... CSI Paramus, The original right? starring the fabulous William Peterson. William Peterson. Right. Of, uh, yeah. Live and Die in L.A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, and uh, Manhunter. Manhunter. Yeah. My... <laughs> 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 you know the I listeners did ask for more yet. movie talk you're yeah, getting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my family devoured that fucking first CSI really with William Pierce. yeah 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 he's so good he, it's yeah, so good so I'd watch good anything with him in Grissom? it really. that was Grissom yeah, right? John, yeah. 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 His, you know character is Grissom. Um, Willem was in a CSI yeah, yeah. D- Dead Hooker that's Dead right. Hooker. Yep. Yeah. 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 I, I, I remember yeah, I, I, I watched a lot of the of the original CSI mm-hmm. and then the spinoffs I couldn't do. No. And uh, there's a great super cut of every time David Caruso would uh, meaningfully take off his sunglasses. At the oh, beginning. my God. Yeah. It's yeah. so over yeah. the top. It's so, it's so hammy. So, yeah. It's, uh, he's terrible. Yeah. He's really terrible. Um, there was a whole, I think, Fox News or it's like Morning Show or Morning Joe or something thing with Rob Zombie and Malcolm McDowell. Rob Zombie's just laughing the whole time because Malcolm McDowell just won't stop talking about how much of a turd David Caruso is. Oh my it's God, great. I love it's that. It's amazing. Because what the fuck? He doesn't care. Like, what's it going to do right, to him? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and probably no one's going to be like, I can't believe he said that about David Caruso, that fine actor. Right. right. Yeah. Right. That fine man. That Thespian Academy Award film. nominee. <laughs> so you've yeah. worked on a bunch of film projects then? Yeah, I worked on a bunch of film projects. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I, your favorite one? Um, favorite one. I had, a, well, a couple of favorite ones. I, I worked on, um, I worked on the island, Michael Bay. Oh, Ooh. wow. And that was, yeah, that was, that was super fun. Cause I'd never worked. That was my first time working on just like a giant blockbuster. Yeah, like I'm um, such a fan of Armageddon. I know it's a terrible movie, but I love, I just have like a soft spot in my heart for a natural disaster film. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I just love it. I love those two. So it was, it was fun to work with Michael Bay. Um, and on such a surreal set right i mean everything yeah it was a trip yeah, it was yeah. a trip and you know and he would like he was fine i mean yeah. you know he's just like he's very in control sure. and like i mean it, like it's he's a tech it's he's very much a technical director right so but you know i've heard i had heard stories about him and how he was awful and i didn't really yeah. find him to be that awful i thought he was he was pretty chill were you ever um, on a set with someone who was awful Give us some dirt, lady. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been on set. Yes, yes. I've been on sets with people who are awful. <laughs> uh, and in control of the thing, so, supposedly. Or like well, the, no, I mean, I've been on sets with like actors who uh, were absolute tools. Really? Who are, yeah. You don't mm-hmm. have to say names, but what are some of the bad behaviors that they exhibited on the sets? Oh, you know, just like a lot of like, like just creepy sexual undertone oh, type okay. things, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, I've, n- I've, I wouldn't, I've never, I wouldn't call it ever had been assaulted, but definitely harassed sexually okay. yeah. on plenty of projects Fr- from, you know, just everything from just like inappropriate comments that you just shouldn't say to somebody that mm-hmm. you're working with. Yeah. And I've, you know, and then I've been on sets where I've seen other girls visiting actors trailers during mm-hmm. the lunch break uh-huh. yeah yeah and then coming back being like i visited his trailer over lunch and oh, i'm just like oh no. you guys must have been running lines huh <laughs> oh, God. you know like that kind of stuff but that's yeah. just but that's 
It happens. That's yeah. just how it is. There's muck and mire in every aspect, right. uh, every industry. I mean, I'm not yeah. telling a story that's that's anything new. Right, exactly. Wait, that um, happened on a film set? Where? A pure, Wait, the pure film, where? film yes, set? Where I thought this yeah, was a, a, a virtuous artistic endeavor. But, One of yeah. my favorite stories about bad behavior on a set, it wasn't really bad behavior, but so Stephen King directed one film. It was uh, Maximum Overdrive. Mm-hmm. Oh, the car one. Yeah, the yeah, car the one. Car one. I love mm-hmm. it's shitty, but I, it's, God damn it, it is, I love it. Yeah, it's so trash And the fire. trailer is one of the best things ever because he is so coked out of his skull. <laughs> Hi. My name is Stephen King. I've written several motion pictures, but I want to tell you about a movie called Maximum Overdrive which is the first one I've directed. Wow. What in the dickens is going on around here? A lot of people have directed Stephen King novels and stories. And I finally decided if you want something done right, you ought to do it yourself. It was my first picture as a director. And you know something? I sort of enjoyed it. Spend some time in the dark. I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. And that's a promise. So he directed it and he was at the height of his alcoholism at the time. Oh boy. And instead of drinking, you know, whatever booze of choice he would like at any time, because when you're a director, they'll just, you know, whatever yeah. they want. He was drinking Listerine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The good old, good old. The good old hobo blow your kidneys out yeah. shit, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's actually what it is. The good old green and blue. Blow your liver out. Yeah, it's not yeah. good for you. No. Although he must have been very minty fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And that upchuck is very fragrant. Ooh, yeah. Smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth. smooth. I feel like that's a one way straight to Pomona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a bullet train to Pomona. Yeah, that's yeah. a bullet train to Pomona. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you it cost any... you three seventy nine at CBS? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jumbo size. <laughs> Cheap and fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you ever do any acting work? Um, I've Yeah. Yeah. I've done, but nothing, nothing of significance. That's oh, still on. cool, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still cool. Yeah, but yeah, because you're kind of an all rounder. You know what I'm I mean? I'm an all rounder. In the, in the arts, Jackie well, of all trades. I mean, yeah, I, I Jack K. Well, Jack it also kind of just became one of those things that I was lucky enough because of the commercials, because mm-hmm. of singing on the commercials. It is a part of SAG, and oh, so right. you know, I don't know if what a lot of actors do to try to keep their health insurance is to do a lot of, you know, background work. And yeah. sure. so commercial background work can actually be, you know, pretty lucrative as far as getting good day rates. Right. And it does help to, you know, keep your health insurance, mm-hmm. which is a, a very sexy topic, but oh, I, yeah. I'm hard. <laughs> I'm hard. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Oh, he I'm lives hard. with that stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I told us an interesting story. Remember about getting a SAG card through yeah. doing that sort of work. I'd advise against it now. The background work or, Sad, sad, sad card. card because the dues are more because the dues are in it's yeah the I dues are expensive three thousand yeah dollars. yeah because what happens is they get you in this thing so like you get a taft hartley mm-hmm. which means that like you you know you're a non you're a non-union performer that gets a you know that that wins a job or gets yeah. a role okay. on a union production so you have to get approval and you yep. get a taft hartley so that means that you can join and if you have a taft hartley you can stay Taft Hartley, which means you get all the benefits of the union, mm-hmm. but you don't have to join. But then, if you get two more union bookings after yep. that, you're a must join. Yep. So oh, therefore, you have to, to join. Wow. What and to you me. cannot do the job, and right. you cannot get your pay unless you join. Wow. Yep. That's okay. what fucking happened to me, man. Yeah. Wow. And I had it was my third job, mm-hmm. and I had to on the, it was a three day shoot, mm-hmm. and that day three, I had to, I had to, to pay. I had to go. I had to join SAG immediately. immediately. Otherwise, you would. I would not. I would be able to finish the paperwork yep yeah and yeah. that'll just fuck you up like then you're not going to be considered for things and stuff right? right yeah yeah well yeah because a lot of work now is non-union sure because people just don't want to go through i mean even though it's not really that crazy to go through the paperwork mm-hmm. paperwork to make your production union a lot of people just don't want to deal with it and now i mean mostly it's it's clients and yeah and they you know agencies they don't want to pay you know, their clients don't want to pay the residuals anymore. It's better to just do a buyout. And the thing with buyouts that are good, the actors say is like, okay, well, if I'm, if I'm getting $5,000 buyout for this, you know, deodorant commercial, then I don't have to have like, what, what, what do they call it when it's like, um, there's like, you know, you can't do another deodorant commercial. Oh, a uh, non compete. A non compete. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to worry about that kind of right. stuff with the non union right. work. Agent. So, yeah. and, and there's so little union work now. Mm-hmm. 
and they keep raising the amount that you have to make right. to, to keep your insurance, but you still have to pay the same amount in your dues. It's ridiculous. How does it work? It's with, a sham. How does, it's a goddamn sham. sham. Andrea, Andrea Zuckerman, you're no leader of mine. <laughs> <laughs> how does it work with ASCAP and all of that? Because you have song publishing, etc. I'm BMI. Oh, okay. So, and that's that, body mass index. Yes, it's my my body mass index. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's fitness and publishing. Don't you know yeah. it's oh. rude to ask a woman her BMI? <laughs> <laughs> Always looking around that asking the ladies their BMI. How much do you weigh, songwriter? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just pull up my fat caliper. <laughs> um, with BMI. Oh wait, for the for the commercial stuff. Well, just in general, how does it work with like publishing deals or? I mean, I had a publishing deal for a couple years. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it, if you're not with one of the majors, I think it's pretty useless. Okay. So you just kind of have to man. I mean, I don't manage my publishing now because of the record, uh, the record deal that I have with mm-hmm. the label. So basically, you sign over a, a piece of your publishing, and then they just kind of manage. They handle it they for handle you. They handle it yeah. for you. Um, but otherwise, you know, you have to register those things yourself. But it's also something I do with music supervision for oh, the right. films is that, yeah. you know, I have to be responsible for researching and registering all of the songs with the appropriate writers to the appropriate societies. Sure. So for music supervision, for a breakdown for listeners who might not be familiar with it. So basically every song that you hear in a film. That's, is a, that's not by, that's not score. That, right. That's not score. What do they call it? What do they, there's a there's, ter- there's term for it. Diegetic. Diegetic, yeah. that's right. It's diegetic. Diegetic music. music. Yeah. So yeah, every song that's in there is placed. Now, did they right? have diegetics on Battlefield Earth? Or that's Dianetics. Oh, that's yeah, Dianetics, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's the Dianetics. The Dianetic music is yeah. that slow, low pitch. Do you know what happened the other day? Tell me. Let me show you something. I have, a, I have to show you what this, this is. He's leaving the room. He's running. He's running. He's, he's taking off mm-hmm. his brassiere. And his dingling is flapping <laughs> no, in well, the that wind. Was anyway, yeah. So the other day, yes, I opened my mailbox, and this is in there, Celebrity Magazine. Ooh, what is? Who's on the cover? Uh, let's see. What's her name? France D'Amour. Hmm, sounds suspicious. Which I know is going to be the name of our Italo project. Yes, singer, it is. But uh, it still might be. Yeah, French D'Amour. I mean, so on top it says, "In focus: the latest and greatest seminars and events at CC." It is a Scientology magazine. Oh. oh. Yeah, Church of Scientology, Celebrity Center International. And it, it's to the Who wrong address. Who signed you up for this? No, oh, no. I thought it was maybe a prank. Let me no, see no, that. No, no, it was the wrong That would have been a good address. prank. It would have been a good prank, <laughs> a scary prank. So there's an album, a Scientology album called Road to Freedom and um, from mid-80s. No. And I've wanted it for a while, but I was always nervous about buying it online because I didn't want anyone to be like sending me pamphlets. Found it at a uh, thrift store, though. And um, so here's who's on it. Music written by L. Ron Hubbard, mostly, or some. Other artists on the collection, uh, besides Chick Corea, who's a mm-hmm. well-known Scientologist, yeah. uh, Leif Garrett, and Frank Stallone. No. Yeah. Oh, we might be able to listen to a selection, actually. Leif Garrett? Yeah. I didn't know he was still... Is he still alive? He is still alive. Yeah. He sort of did some... You know, he played the whiskey like about a year ago. I'd, my sister was obsessed with him when she was growing up. I was a little crushed after I was at the whiskey and I was wearing... No, uh... Blythe was wearing a Sean Cassidy shirt, mm-hmm. and because sadly every goddamn Sean Cassidy shirt I would order is never big enough. It's they're always tiny. They're tiny shirts. I don't know what it was. Not thinking. a lot of men back in those days <laughs> buying a Sean Cassidy. At least shirt. not. At least not. There were there weren't a lot of outed Sean Cassidy fans <laughs> that were men back in the that's day. That's right. I'm an out and proud Sean <laughs> You're Cassidy an out fan. And proud Sean yeah, that's Cassidy. right. I wave my flag high. Yeah. Uh, so the bouncer goes, "Oh, you know, he's playing here next month," and I was like, "What?" what? And so I was so excited. I actually tweeted at Sean Cassidy. I was like, is it true that you're going to be playing? And he's like, no, it's not true. And I was like, God damn it. Then I looked at the schedule and it was Leif Garrett. And I was like, you know, that's just not right. No, who you're talking about. Schemers. Yeah. Not fair to Leif. Not fair at all. Not fair to Leif at all. This celebrity magazine is pure trash. Yeah, so everyone in there, it's like little profiles of different... Um, of different Scientologists? That's right, who are in who are performing famous arts. Or just performing arts Scientologists. Performing arts, exactly. Is Daryl Hannah How about a this Scientologist? One? How about is this she? One? No, I don't know, because that performance so. piece is questionable. Here's, <laughs> but here, hey, listen, here's... A, here's a, it should be in this magazine. It should be in this magazine right now. Yeah. Here's a quote from a model and actor. Instead of being tired I, and bored, I'm now way more yes. excited to get going and undertake things. Thanks to Scientology, See, I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very general statement. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. It doesn't say because of, right? It I just used says, to be sad. Now no, I'm, I'm not. 
<laughs> instead of yeah, yeah, instead of being down, I just stay even. even. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> oh, and John Travolta's on this as well. Oh, okay, let's, uh, let's, there was a throw video some Travolta at me. Oh, I'd love oh, yeah. to throw just throw Travolta at you all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some bottle fooled earth. Oh, it's so culty. I think this is Frank Stallone. You know, Frank Stallone, who's known for his reasonable tweets. <laughs> there is one. What is that thing? I what wonder. Is that? I wonder what I'm, it I'm is. so curious to know. Stay even. <laughs> what? I guess one take is enough, right? Yeah. On the road to freedom. But where is that road? I feel like they might tell us somehow. Sith horns are really raunchy on this one. Oh, Did you hear that? Hear that? Wow. Wow. wow! Wow! Yeah, this road to freedom is wow! wow. Crazy. crazy! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, is this Frank again? Is that Travolta? Never mind the chemicals. This is just John Travolta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good it's Travolta. Travolta. You don't even have a form. What? You don't what? even have a form. Form. You're in a trap of senseless lies. Oh, senseless Ooh. lies. Senseless lies. That's the vocal rumor. styling is time to be wild. Oh, they're trading vocals, Reform. maybe. Rebarn. 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 Get on the road to freedom. Come on, get on the road. That's freedom right, that's right. Get on the road to freedom. Oh, get no off the road, sorry. Sorry. It's only in your mind. It's only in your mind. Oh, get the get fuck on, on that road. road. No sorrow. It's in your mind. Bow wow, bow wow. Your mind, your mind, your mind. Do what, do what? Give up those senseless lies. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we got a little, Ooh. little modulation there. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me interested. Keep yeah. Wow. Knowledge is your key. Is this Frank Stone doing like a fake sting? Yeah. Take the ride. Take the route of auditing. Auditing. Oh, auditing. Yeah. <laughs> once again, be free. One, uh, yeah, one time is never enough. Get on the road to freedom. So free, so free. Help us see all mankind. For all mankind. Give your sorrow. No more sorrow. We will leave it in your mind. mind. Yes. Solo, baby. Give it to me, Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Get on the road to freedom. It's so free. Free all mankind. mankind. Get on the road to sorrow. It's <laughs> only in your mind. That's it's right. It's mind. in your mind. And get on the road. To freedom, freedom. It's so free. <laughs> Mankind's so sorrow. sorrow. Ooh, it's so only in, in your mind. mind. It's only in your mind. 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 Big finish, yes. Well, yes. I, my thetans are buzzing. Yeah, wow. Yes. You know, I was goofing on it before. I guess I was making a mistake. Yeah, huh? now yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm f- I'm ready to accept the I battlefield of Earth. I think that's where um, your mans that did uh, 
the renew- the renewed mind is the key. I think that was his inspiration. Oh, with the who's that? The renewed mind is the key for the powers that we need. What's that? Have you seen that? I don't think so. <gasps> oh, it's a magical YouTube video. Where Which I could call up. Yeah. You, you, Should you, I do that? Yeah. You might want to. <laughs> I might need to. I think to. the listeners. I I, I, the I listeners feel like need. I feel like many of the listeners may already know about this because it is a little bit of a popular viral video. Sure. And but, what's it called um, again? The renewed mind is the key. Renewed mind. Okay. Um, Wait, Dee Dee. Yeah. Did you know that the elements of the purification program include exercise, sauna, sweat out, nutrition, including vitamins, minerals, as well as oil intake and a properly ordered personal schedule? Wow. <laughs> Whoa, this is chock full of useful information. Did they just isn't rip it? that from a blog posting on Goop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And number five, sticky <laughs> jade egg up your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that's next week's show. Yeah, Do you next. like a jade egg up your back <laughs> <Yeah>. pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Sit on an egg and you'll become blonde. blonde. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the renewed mind is the key. Um, oh, blonde. part of it is the dance moves, though. You, oh. know, you have to see this. Oh, we got to get into the dance okay. moves. Yeah. He's trying to do a Destiny's Child vibe here. Now, who is this? He, he's a man that loves God. Oh, I love a man. Oh, I like the yeah. fake Peter Gabriel. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's getting into it. I don't think God's ready for this jelly. Yep. I don't <laughs> the key to the powers that we need. Wow. The world is gonna see that it's Christ in me. <laughs> wow. The to the powers that we need. It's the only way to be strong in victory. God has clothed us with his righteousness and power. Oh, the power. And we live for him. And our daytime is Every hour. hour. We can stand upon the greatness of His word. Words. Words. <laughs> and proclaim the truth. We're gonna make it hurt. We've got all the potential power God could ever give. Gives me all the and power. We stand up our legal rights. And boldly make them Does he, they say legal rights? Yeah. Your is the key to the power that we need. Uh, the world is gonna see. We can claim the rights that God gave you and me. You and me. We can live above all principality. Principality. With God, His power lies within. Lies within. That's the strength to conquer and to win. The smooth bridge and everything. Oh wait, he uh, brings it down here. Oh here we go. Oh shit. That was a little moonwalk. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. This is amazing. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. We know that the renewed mind is the key. We know that the renewed mind is the key. That is Christ in me. Christ in me. We know that the renewed mind is the key. We know that the renewed mind is the key. The only way to be strong and victory. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. It's a subtle message too. The renewed mind is the key to the Christ in me. The renewed the renew what now? The renewed mind. Wow. The renewed mind is the key, key to the Christ, Christ in me. me. Wow. Do you know how I find the key to the Christ in me? How's that? A small glass dildo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Which, stick it betwixt my th- mine thighs well, and did. the body you used of Christ. To it before you <laughs> yeah. shattered it after extricating like it from your Christ. shitty ass. There was. A <laughs> <laughs> Previous episode. Previous yeah. episode. Oh, okay. aired, so, but well, we, yeah, okay. he can give you <laughs> yeah. the cliff notes on that one yeah, if you I'll want. Yeah, give you the cliff notes. The broad I, strokes. I, I took out a, a dildo, a glass dildo, <laughs> and I dropped it on the floor in, in an explosion of broken glass and shitty fragments. Because he was still dealing with a stomach ailment, <laughs> oh but he God. still played in the playground regardless. Yeah. I went in the dirty sandbox because I couldn't help myself. Dee okay. <laughs> 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 Dee! 
sometimes you find things you flooded from the previous year in the dirty sandbox. <laughs> yeah. That bones. lie dormant. Yeah, yeah certain bones and, and yes. fragments. Float yeah. You've seen Poltergeist, right? You know, I at the see. end when George oh, Williams is in the... Certainly have. Yeah. Certainly yes. have. Certainly do, you have a, have. do you have a favorite horror movie? Because you <sighs> love horror movies, right? It's so hard to choose just one. Pick three then. Yeah. Pick three. Um, definitely The Exorcist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. It's, uh, yeah. It's I, definitely if I had to The say Exorcist. That's, I, if I had to pick one, I'd say that's my favorite horror Yeah, it's movie. one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. Suspiria. Oh, okay. God, yes, yeah, Suspiria. And I'm going to throw in a modern one for just for, for, a, for, a, for, a, for a Pomona and a giggle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that Annabelle 2... Oh. was fucking amazing i really? remember this i remember you yes. guys were raving about this yeah okay. yeah well because i yeah jason had seen it like right after me That's and we right. were just like i i i did not expect it to be great but yeah. i still go to see the i i love the whole conjuring yeah, franchise yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and i can't wait for the nun to come out is it's, that the next coming, one in the yeah, series yeah, it's okay. coming out this I, summer i'd like to go to i pick with you yeah oh that. i would love to go let's to do that, that. Yeah. yeah but annabelle 2 was so good the first one was garbage Okay, see, I only saw the first Conjuring, and I really wasn't that into it. The one with Lily Tyler, Taylor, Lily, Lily Taylor, Lily, and Willie Tyler Paul, and Lester. Yeah. Who was it? John, Ron Livingston or Paul Rudd? I, I don't know uh, which it one was it was. Not Paul Rudd. It, it was, was Ron, Ron Rudd. It was it was Burger. It was uh, it yes. was a Burger Dingbat from it was that's Burger right, Dingbat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Post It guy. Oh, I yeah, yeah Conjuring Two. Yeah. I saw that on tour with Michelle Visage and, and um mm -hmm. and a bunch of the drag race goons. Mm -hmm. And that the was dragoons. Yeah, the dragoons. And that mm -hmm. was fun because it was a lot of jump scares. Oh yeah. And then yeah. everybody gets terrified. And a lot of gasping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, <gasps> um, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> no, Annabelle too was, was Was that good? Was truly it was it was it was great. It was great. Did you like Drag Me to Hell? Did you see that one? I liked Drag Me to I Hell. Loved yeah, Drag I love. I, I really. Yeah, I thought, it. It. I thought that was, so I thought that was great. I thought that was great. Fun. It's mm -hmm. so good. Yeah, it's so good. What's yeah. the one? Ghost Stories. We saw the trailer for before Grace. A twenty four. Uh, oh no! Oh yeah, Ghost Stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It's kind of like a. It's like a series. Like the an film is set up. Thing yeah, or anthology yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually I heard that that was supposed to be pretty scary. Well, let's check. Oh, that I thought you well. were talking about that. I want to fucking wretched Mount shit. Everest documentary oh, they were yeah, trying yeah, to shove like, down our throat. They were like crying up there. It's like, honey. There's nothing I fucking hate more than a bunch of fucking like rich white people. Like, oh my God. Yeah. We, we decided to climb oh, up a we mountain decided and we're going to climb gonna up die. A, we, like, really? You know, like you said, I have no sympathy. I have you made no your bed, fun, Carol. Yeah, now lay yeah. it. Yeah. Look, Rachel. <laughs> 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 it's really great. We're going to get together and we're, we're going to fucking eat. basically die. Yeah. 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 I just say don't go into that thing if you're not prepared to die. Yeah. Right. Unless you're kind of looking to die, I think. Yeah. Did you like Black Swin? Was Black Swine. <laughs> Black, Black Swine was great. <laughs> Black, <laughs> Black, Black Swine was great. Black Swine. Black Swin. Black I lived Schwin. that. I was. I became you Black, were Black Swan. You were Black yeah. Swan. Yeah. Were, you, were you a ballet dancer? Yeah. In my head. I was gonna say you have the body of a ballet dancer. Look at this. Look at I this know. Extension. Look at look at those point. Your look point. at this. Look at these gams. I know. I got beefy trotters. You got beefy trotters. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say. You about know, that if you fella. and I were on Mount Everest and you died first, I'd be in for a good snack. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gristle. It's all gristle. <laughs> I'll have some gristle. Oh fuck! I gotta. You gotta go. You gotta go. Well, okay. hey, look. You gotta end the episode somehow. Yeah, right? yeah. Otherwise, I feel like we'd just be here until next week's episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you have, I to, have come to come back, Dee Dee. Yeah. Will. will you please come back? I would love to come back. Would you Are you come kidding? Back? Thank okay. you. Thanks well, for been, having me. Oh, wait, wait. It's been may a I also, having you. May I also comment on your on your uh, beautiful fashion sense? Oh well, I mean, I'm head to toe acne today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that brand. Seems like a waste of an outfit yeah. to only be hearing me, <laughs> but. <laughs> well, Never be out for, of character. Yeah, thank you for coming to grace us with your presence. Oh, thank you for yeah, having and a, me. A, a lovely little neck scarf. Oh, yes, yes, a neckerchief. Neckerchief, yeah. And a, and a cute a little uh, bootaloon. A yeah. little bootaloon. Is yeah. This, this a, yeah, it's a it's a utila pump. <laughs> a utila pump. <laughs> a utila pump. <laughs> yeah. See, that's one of those things I saw on kink.com with their for sale. When yeah. they're footing? Oh. Yeah, the utila pump. Utila pump. Yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. A, is that that you stick it in a butt? I think there's there's both versions. In yeah. in the vagina. Wait, wait, what? The utila pump. You can yeah. do anything you want with it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Different than the shoe. Oh, okay. It has, it has two It's two purposes. That's right. To walk and to punt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. I got it. Yeah, I exactly. got it. Okay, cool. So yeah. happy punting, everyone. <laughs> happy, happy punting. punting. Happy yeah. goth day. Yeah. Yes, happy, happy, go world happy world goth day. Happy goth day. Don't die. Get on the road to freedom. Yep. Get on the road to freedom. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> i